Welcome to another episode of the new Rory and Maul. I guess. Uh, who are you? I'm Maul. Okay, I'll be Rory today. Okay. And uh, today's my 32nd and a half birthday. Woo! Wait, half? Yeah. Is that six months in? Well, yeah, yeah. that would be half, right? 32 yeah. and a quarter? Oh, well, I'm, I'm 45 be... and I haven't had solid food in 10 days. <laughs> 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 Today's meal is brought to you by <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no, because I'm not eating. Tell no them, nutrition. Tell them what you told us. What I'm eating today? No. Yeah. Uh, today I'm eating steak and potatoes and uh, broccoli, uh, also known as uh, butter juice. butter apple juice. This is butternut squash. You can't have butter. Ginger. You're a vegan. Oh, it's butternut squash. It's a, hey, it's so you go. So vegans can have nut. Well, yes, nuts. We can okay, eat, we can eat nuts. Hurt you. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm eating today. Fueled by butternut squash today. Maul just informed us that his uh, nut is going to taste amazing because he's been on I didn't. I didn't. Inf- whoa, hold on. whoa, 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 just, whoa, this, whoa. This is already See, we off the all, rails. We were all here. We were all here together when I said what I said. Did yeah, I say he that? No, he didn't say that. Right. He said his nut's going to look like butternut squash. I, I didn't say that either. Damara said that. <laughs> I said that women have been DMing me saying, I know your nut tastes amazing after doing this juice cleanse. That's what I said to Maris. I hate that in my notes. I just had to write Maul's nut. You all need Jesus. We know Jesus. He's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Cinco de tell, Mayo, Jesus. Tell all the women in your DMs to Google. save some space for the Lord. I will. I, I, I've been just sitting there. Every time they say it, I just send the prayer hands. Like, you know, I don't Same. want to respond to it. You can't respond. I can't respond. You and know, that, that's because you know only hands women are allowed high to do five, that. right? Hmm? The prayer hands are a high five. Well, I don't use those prayer hands. I use the uh, the Muslim prayer hands. Yes. Things like this, yes. <laughs> There you go. Or you hold your hands out to like receive them. the blessings. You know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to use that, but I don't know if I'll piss off like the NOI if I do. Well, you can be Muslim. You're white Muslims. Well, JLX said I'm an Irish Muslim, but yeah. I'm, you I'm go. Catholic, but <laughs> neither here nor there. Shout out to the NOI and to all Muslims. Yes. Uh, and shout out to all of our lat- Latinos, Mex- uh, Mexicans, yeah. uh, like uh, Eden around the world. Back, back to back birthdays for for the new Rory and Maul pod. Yeah. My May fourth, Eden's May fifth. Like this is insane. Happy birthday, bro! Happy birthday, Eden. Thank you. This uh, oh, yeah. this today celebrates what? Like your independence from Texas or something? Like just <laughs> broke off? No. <laughs> Yo, being Yo. independent from Texas is sick. This is a, uh, isn't that what happened? No. This is about the Alamo. Today's about, about the, the Alamo. Battle of right? Puebla. There was a battle, battle at Puebla. uh, what was the battle? A battle of what? Battle Puebla. 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 Battle of Puebla, yes. uh, where okay. black, actually black people actually won that battle. The Africans, uh, I believe slaves that were in Mexico won that battle, actually. They defeated the French. You know what I'm saying? Once I again. Like, I like that we can bring ignorance and then clean it up with the facts. Oh, we know a little bit. Of, we know a little bit about a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so happy Cinco de Mayo to all our Latinos around the world. Uh, sure. Mexicans. Don't say all the Latinos. I mean, they're Latinos. Everyone's celebrating. Latins mm-hmm. celebrate each yeah. other. So, uh, well, Mexicans. It's the Mexican holiday. I feel yes. like white people celebrate this more than Mexican people. Yes. Yes. I, I think yeah. black, I think it's a couple of homies from Brooklyn that's celebrating heavy tonight. Uh, oh, I'm no, sure. They're going, they're, oh, they got, they're they going got, crazy at the 440. Yeah, I got the flyer. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> happy single to Mayo. Uh, have fun. Be safe out there today. Yeah. And uh, again, I don't know much well, this, about they'll be this, hearing this they'll tomorrow. Actual, tomorrow. What I'm saying, yeah. it's like actual Mexicans really like this holiday or this is really just some they don't. washed out they Hallmark don't. white American they, thing. They celebrate it. It's just, you know, I feel like, again, I've seen more like Cinco de Drinco things yeah. more than yeah. a well, listen, you know, Mexico, you know they, they, Mexicans they remix on in it. Mexico don't celebrate it. Only the people in Puebla. Mexicans are beautiful shit. people, beautiful country. Yes, everything about Mexico is fucking amazing. Love it. Love like my Mexican, Mexican women. The cartels are a little violent, but other than that, I, it's I think it's a beautiful country. Love like, my Mexican people. Love them. Do you like Mexican women? Love Mexican women. Oh my women. god! What? It, you don't think on the seven train Roosevelt stuck? Never mind. Forget it. Y'all, <laughs> y'all know where the Mexican women at. <laughs> Love my Mexican women. Shout out to y'all. Um. Yeah, what were we talking about? Because I don't know where we started, where we cut, but I do want to get back to our battle rap conversation. Start off. I've been seeing clips of battle rap going around, and battle rappers are apparently using their phones to remember their lyrics now. Ew. Where is the culture headed? A Drake took us there. Mm. No, Drake has never battled anybody and pulled out a phone and well, he was battling first flex. He had to pull out a phone at flex. Uh, that's different, though. That's a freestyle that you're writing on the way to the studio, maybe. I can understand that. I'm talking about being at a battle rap that you knew you were going to be at months before. And we're just like, hold on one And second. in the middle of the round, pulling out your phone to read your lyrics. That is was it, insane. Was it part of like a punchline though? 
No, like literally, literally, I forgot. Like, oh shit, let me see where I'm at. Like, Ew. like, because I remember like one time Charlie Clips stumbled. He's like, no, I was just taking you to Google Chrome. Was yeah. like, oh Ew. damn, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even know I was going there today. <laughs> Google Chrome. That's Which, by the way, at? wasn't ill bar because he did look like he stumbled and then yeah. yeah. I like when battle rappers do that, when you think that they stumbled. And sometimes some of them are good enough that it was an actual stumble, but they know to play it off like, oh, I meant to do that. Yeah. And they get right back into it. But yeah, no, some battle rappers I'm seeing now, uh, somebody was battle rapping, I think Reed Dollars and pulled out his phone. And then I seen somebody battle rapping, I think Jay Mills and pull out their phone and was reading lyrics. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Weird shit going on, man. I just love how the taglines of battle rap, how... Like the same way I feel for rappers now, because all the good names like were taken already, so they have to come up with like these insane, clever names. Yeah, yeah. the The way the tagline has developed in battle rap is hysterical to me, because like Mook back in the day, easy. Mm -hmm. That was the tagline. Yeah. So just easy, yeah. yell easy at the end. We'd all yell it together. Mm -hmm. You yelled easy before? I no, I've never been. You come on. You was on. <laughs> you was you was at the J Mills <laughs> Mook battle, <laughs> screaming easy. <laughs> He was on two. I fifth. never was at the battle yelling easy. <laughs> that, that's just funny though. Like seeing Rory yell easy at a rap battle, it's like, what are you doing? You're not on stage, man. Relax. <laughs> Yo, everyone. <laughs> if I cannot believe Sirius Jones kept a straight face when he battled Mook. And at the end, when everyone just kept going down on your head, down on your head. <laughs> I would have started dying laughing. Why is there 45 a, people behind you going, oh no. That was legendary though. That is a legendary battle. Legendary. And Mook is my favorite battle rapper, period. But Yeah, really? Yeah. Old time? For sure. Okay. I know they'll kill me. I'm not battle rap. No, that's culture. not a bad. That's not there's a lot of people that have Mook as their favorite battle rapper. Who's of all your time. favorite Mo? My favorite battle rapper of all time. Uh mm, Lux. Mook. Um Surf. Surf is up there for me too. Yeah. Uh Hitman. Surf might be number two for me. I like Hitman. Hitman's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Mook just I feel like is the perfect balance of like because battle rap is a show. Mm -hmm. It's literally showmanship, like mm -hmm. up there. It's it's not head ice too. I like, I like head, head ice. Head ice is great. So yeah, as much as I'd love Lux, I have to watch Lux like 15 times to catch everything he said. Like mm -hmm. it's it's much more of a I don't even want obviously not a song, but it's much more of a like a verse that you have to dissect, dissect to get. It's not so mm -hmm. much a show that yeah. you could just watch. Oh, and goods. I can't forget goods. Well, yeah. Goods Legend. is one of the best ever. Yeah. Mook has wordplay, but also does, and I don't I don't mean dumb down, but like he just makes it easy to catch everything, even if it's complicated. Mm -hmm. You hear every last thing he says. Right. It's a fucking talking performance. Like yeah. Mook is incredible at performing i love that's I, why i fuck with mook yeah i like seeing where the battle rap uh where the platform is going like where it, where it started and where it's at now it's more like a because i remember if even if you go back on youtube and look at some of the early early rap battles it was like a lot of those you know lyrics and and those those bars were designed for anybody yeah could have spit those bars in front of anybody now they're more tailored to the sure, opponent <laughs> yeah now they're more tailored to the opponent it's more like uh, spoken word poetry is like you said it's a performance now you have to add disaster is great at performance as well oh, outside of, one of the disaster best. is just performing one of the best. is fucking yeah incredible yeah. but um yeah I don't please man I don't know where you know I don't even know how that's allowed for uh, battle rappers to plot their phone and read their lyrics but that to me should be an automatic disqualification well ask again were you ever confused what room clips was in at the time um uh, no I was Assuming he was in the room that I was watching the battle happen in. <laughs> like, no, he's right wasn't. here. He was in, he named all the kitchen appliances and then asked us if we knew what room he was in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to read that. I want to read like when he which, wrote that. Which, by the way, and Clips is, I think, right there with Mook as far as uh, hearing everything, all that shit. Like mm -hmm. what I just said about Mook, I think Clips does very fucking well. Mm -hmm. And I love Clips. But that Sirius Jones Clips battle from whatever summer that was, that even when it was the fucking uh, Lux versus uh, Hollow shit, that, mm -hmm. that was just a legendary summer madness. Yeah. I just, having clips walk through an entire house for one round <laughs> was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine battling somebody and they just keep asking you what part of the house they're in. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm Jones, I'm like, I know where the living room is. Why, why is this? You're not beating me. 
It was just a. It was a clever. It was a very clever, very unique way of oh, writing. It, no, it was a really good scheme, and no, he smoked that shit. Yeah, he definitely did. And it just it's because how fucking battle rap has gotten so popular. You just run out of fucking schemes. You got to just come up with shit. Right. Exactly. Like, cons had to fucking slow it down to make sure that we knew he was dissing him. Imagine telling your opponent. Yo, so down. I just dissed you. Like, no, that's the point of this. Yeah, I know yeah, you're yeah. dissing me. Can we move on? Like, <laughs> let's move on. Wow. Yeah, like, let's no, move on. No, the whole point of this is yeah. to diss me. I, I, I love when it. they do this. Like when they bring it back. It's like, nah, I got it. I don't know if the rest of these niggas understood yeah. that ball, but I got it. You can move forward. No, sir. it's man's in the back making sure the audience. Yo, did y'all like? <laughs> you ain't even get that. No, no, I got it, sir. He can move forward with his bars. Uh, so yeah, man. How was your uh, week? How was your birthday? I saw you guys. Remember on... when Mook called Iron Solomon George Zimmerman <laughs> for a whole round? And he, he had Skittles. He had an iced tea. <laughs> Battle rap is crazy when you think about it, bro. It's like this shit is like literally a performance now. Like you literally have props. You have to have different things. You have to pull people from the back that they didn't even know was home from prison yet. Like when did this gentleman get out? Like, like you got to do all kind of shit in Battle Rap now. Listen, man. I... We think rap is just snitching. Battle rap is oh, the battle first rap is 48. Crazy. <laughs> it's the just, internet is first 48. It's just three rounds of admitting to crimes. <laughs> I love the culture, man. And even shit. Clips. We always talk about uh, Lux's third round, obviously, with Hollow. Um, not, not Lux's third uh, round with Hollow. Calico? Hollow. Calico, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, that Rex Clips. Clips third round, I think, is up there with one of the greatest rounds in battle rap history. Rex versus Clips. Rex had called uh, Charlie Clips Pops a, a snitch and went through that whole thing. And then yeah. Clips had the craziest rebuttal ever to that entire thing. Mm-hmm. But no one ever talks about how Rex started his last round with, I was driving around listening to R&B and hip hop. Sounds like a regular Just, day. I, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a regular day. I'm listening to R&B and hip hop. Yeah. I'm driving around listening to R&B and hip hop. And that's what sparked to know that yeah. That Clips' his Pops was a snitch. That's what, <laughs> and I'm not saying he was. I'm just saying how Rex started that round. I was like, wait, what? No, he was paying no, his day. No, he was talking about because Vado brought it up. He said, I'm from a block. Uh, something, something with Charlie Clips' Pops. Mm-hmm. But I just that was one of the funniest things I've ever. And Rex is up there with me to his best battlers. Oh, absolutely. I, um, I like what, what Battle Rap is going with the caffeine app. Mm. I like it. Um, I, I do think. It needs, um, because now sometimes I don't even know who's battling anymore because everything is on caffeine. It's yeah. like, you don't, you don't know who's driving unless you have the app, unless you watch it and follow it. It's like, I find out battles happened and came out two months after it happened. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know they battled each other. Yeah. Yeah. But I do love know. caffeine. Shout out to caffeine and, uh, that whole platform I think is great. I think it's great for the, uh, for the, uh, artists and, um, you Is know. Daylight and Lux happening? Cause I followed yeah. Daylight. That's my guy, but I can never tell when Daylight posts something if he's doing the Daylight I, thing or he's if this is like actually. No, promo I think Daylight and Lux is definitely happening. I think they both already agreed to that. Um, I don't know when, and like I said, now I don't. I'm not sure when because it it, it probably happened already. And I don't even know. But no, I would have known about that because that's a that's one of the the ones I think the entire uh, battle rap platform is waiting on. I'm, I'm gonna need the lyrics printed out while I watch it. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of heavy, <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Yeah, they I need that. to read along. They need a stenographer or somebody on the side to like type those lyrics. Daylight because, Lux. Yeah. That's going to be dope. That's going to be amazing. Uh, So yeah, man, how was your birthday? How was your... uh? It was cool, man. How was the 32 feeling? How's it feeling? It feels the same. Yeah? It's just feels like yesterday. You sent me a uh, a close friends video you tagged me in. Uh, Damaris had uh, a baby arm, what, what looked like a baby arm in a frying Listen. pan sizzling. And you said, uh, I'm sending this to Maul to piss them off. She smoked that baby arm. Baby hey. arm is my new favorite food. It was, uh, was it tenderloin, was it? Uh, beef tenderloin, Ooh, yeah. Beef nice. tenderloin she had in, in the pan and was making sure that motherfucker was seared nicely on all sides. Listen, I don't... Brown, I, golden know, brown all the way down. You know you know we can't give Damaris compliments because her head is already big enough. Ooh. Yeah. I'm like so insecure. Like, where did you get I, that oh, yeah, from? Insecure people come off very arrogant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. true, 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 true. This is the second time Demaris came to my house and cooked, and I I can't. Third, third. I don't even have the words at this. Point. I heard she, I heard you not made a know. vegan pasta for me. Yeah, but then we put butter and cheese in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for almost thinking you about. You said me. you weren't coming, so yes, I, I, I threw know. some butter and some parmesan. It's in okay. There. I, I appreciate um, it. But nah, she put her her 
foot in everything. Yeah. Like the food was incredible. It was, it was cool to kick it. No hose. Sorry. Right. Sometimes that's okay. It's okay. Oh no, it was it was purposeful yeah. to not have the hose. Exactly. I, I was happy. I think a few people came thinking the hose would be there and then were upset once they arrived. Like, oh, it's, it's just Rory. I thought this yeah. was <laughs> thought this was for the hose. I, was, I put cologne on to come to Rory's yeah, house. Yeah, I went to your 25th birthday. I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's my 32nd. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well that's was, good. Y'all had a good time. Yeah, yeah. We just we, we kicked it, went to sleep. Yeah. I wish it was more climatic, but what kind of cake did you have? A uh, confetti cake. Nice. And I think there's an ice cream cake still in my freezer. Yeah. What? And there's some confetti cake left too. Oh damn, Ed, I'm sorry. You know Ed was invited and didn't come. He was even in the group chat talking no, like, "Yo, it's lit editing. tonight." And then he just never came. It's lit tonight. I said it was I've lit tonight. That. That's my move. Be in a <laughs> chat with people that are going to the same party and I never show up. I, I do that to. all the time. Ed, stop stealing my moves. Yeah. Yo, how, how far out of y'all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Asking how far and I'm still in the bed. Like y'all, where y'all at? Yeah. I'm not coming over. Do that all the time. Well, yeah, it was cool. I'm, I'm gonna. I think today is gonna be the day. Yesterday was like the friends and family. Calm type shit. Uh huh. I think I think I might I might get I might get loosey goosey tonight. Hey, yeah, yo. yeah. When it comes okay. to the stumbling, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> no. I wasn't thinking about that at all. Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. Yeah. Um, I want to go somewhere where there's bitches. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. <laughs> I feel like it's bitches. At the I stumbling. feel like there is too. It's probably some old suck peanut butter through a straw ass bitches at the stumbling. And definitely. it's okay for me to say bitches now. We'll get to the ASAP Rocky song, right. but exactly the word "bitches" is okay again. Yeah, they're just back. out of date. It's okay. Rocky bought brought bitch back. Yeah. Look at who your moral compass is. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just awful. No, I love it. I love it for you. Don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, uh, we had a uh, a day off. Mm. Uh, we we seen each other a lot this week. It feels like uh, been recording a lot. Been recording a lot. Been working a lot. I don't uh, even know what episodes are coming out when. I just can tell by the tweets. Like, oh, I guess that episode dropped. Yeah, yeah I don't <laughs> even know. And they, people seem to love the uh, the wellness check episode. They mm-hmm. um, wanted to make sure they thank Damaris for yeah steering it in the, in that direction. For real. Yes, uh, I, I think uh, I think a lot of platforms talk about mental health now because it's the trendy shit. Yeah, I think people <laughs> liked it because it was genuine and it wasn't uh, an exploitation of mental health yeah. and the people that subscribe to the seriousness of mental health mm-hmm. are taken advantage of with a lot of these platforms, I feel like. Yeah. And I I think people just connected to us actually really talking about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not saying, hey, you guys should go to therapy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it stops. Mm-hmm. I'm going to write a book and it's going to be like, yo, you should go to therapy. <laughs> That's it. Just the one page. And like anytime you interview someone like, yo, have you just like ever thought about therapy? Like, I just think it's nice when people don't exploit mental health. Right. That's all. Yeah. I mean, and I think it, people can see when it's genuine yeah, and when it's not. Uh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. I think people under, they can see when it's being exploited and it's being used and leveraged in ways that are not like genuine or whatever. But um, yeah, I think that was cool for us to uh, touch on that a little bit. And I don't think we'll do that more often. Just check in with each other and uh, see how everyone is feeling. Not just us, you know, the staff as well. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's always good to get those con- kind of conversations. I'm glad that people received it well. And, uh, you know, the feedback was great. And, yeah, man, just everybody take some time for yourselves, man. Yourself is important. And uh, if you're not taken care of, then you can't take care of others. So, Very true. Um, with, with that said, with mental health, someone tweeted, being single is cool, but I miss waking up in the middle of the night to see Shorty sitting in the corner of the bed crying with my phone in her hand. <laughs> I've never experienced that and I feel like I missed out on something by not experiencing that like I've never experienced the woman going through your phone and waking you up by throwing the phone in your face oh. I just feel like you shouldn't put that in the air like that's something maybe you should just miss yeah that's one of those life experiences that like all right, I think I'm like you know how you'd be like oh I've never had a threesome that's something I'm like you should just try that at least one time in your life mm-hmm. just for the checklist I feel like a woman going through your phone when you're sleeping is just something you should leave off the checklist. I had a, uh, nothing exhilarating about it. One of my uh, ex-girlfriend a long time ago, she had woke me up and I was sick. So it was like, you know, when you're sick, it's hard to fall asleep. And I had just fallen asleep. Yeah. And she woke me up asking me, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? And I'm like, I'm looking at her phone. You know, the screen is bright. You can't yeah. see. <laughs> so I'm, so by the time my eyes lock in and I see it's a, it's a, somebody had commented under one of my pictures with a, a kissy face emoji. Mm. No, a hard eye. The hard eye emoji. Well, you're a heartthrob. <laughs> well, I try to be. And Pod, I, podcast sex symbol, yeah, if you will. I, I get it. Um, and I looked at it, and I'm like, I knew right away I did not know who this person was. So that was, I was like, okay, cool. It's not like I follow this person. Mm. It's not like I know her in real life. Take her phone. I click on it. 
And it's literally a fake account. Like you can tell, like, you know, you know how you know the fake accounts. Like I think mm. the of the woman in the fucking uh the 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 Avi, Avi was a, a might have been Tory spelling or something. Mm. It's like some some Tory prototypical it, it was blonde probably, actress, it's actress. Probably Shorty's burner account. Like yeah, she was just right. trying to catch you. Yeah, and I'm like, and I looked at her. I said, "This is clearly a fake account." So she looks at her phone and she, oh, I'm like, oh, that's my thing, ladies. You can't think you caught your man in something, and then when you find out you didn't catch him in nothing, just respond with oh. You live a very healthy life. That if a stranger's account with hard eyes on IG is what sparks her to wake you up out, out to sleep i think because i, but I think at that past, point she was looking for that anything. would be scrolled by because so many other things have been seen in the phone <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like a whole lot from a fake shit. account that's is what, like but oh, that's what yeah. i'm saying that's a regular tuesday <laughs> see what i'm saying that's that's because there literally was nothing to find like yeah. so you see something and you think you found something like this is the aha and then the aha turns into oh well, I, I love. It's like you don't just owe me. I, I have. I'm sick. I'm. I have a fucking sinus headache. I just fell asleep, and you waking me up because a fake account left heart eyes under my. What picture. an amateur move! You got to build up the evidence. Yeah. Wow. You screenshot and you build up the evidence so that when you oh. bust it out on it, when you flip it out like that on a nigga, there's nothing he can say. Listen, so- I've I've had both. I've had the impulse craziness, but I've also had the Rico charge. <laughs> you've had all the, I, I, had listen, all the evidence put bro, in front of she's you she's been built no wonder I was getting away with these crimes for so long they were building the case yeah. <laughs> wow but this the is- feds knew and then <laughs> then they finally raided the crib oh, and I was best. sitting in fucking in the tombs like what? They, they have that on <laughs> Did she get they, reading the charges? They was tapping he that was like, phone too. He was like, I'm never coming home. Nah, they, <laughs> nah, they know that. Oh, I'm God. never getting out. Never. But there's an easy way out of all of this. And I say it all the time. Snitch. No, no it's not. No. Never that. Yo. All you have Yo, to my do. Man, my man's was using my phone. Blame, <laughs> blame it on your dad. That's um, all men have to do. No, but here's the thing. My dad didn't talk to me. He didn't love me enough. The dad card works one time. It's not reusable. Nah, you could reuse that dad card. I, I've, you could keep adding minutes to the dad card. No, I've I've tried it. Yeah, I've it tried work. it. It worked the first time because she was like, "Yeah, no, I met him. Yeah, I get it." Okay. And then nothing changed, and I just continued with the behavior. And then I was like, "But my dad." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on my pops. I don't give a fuck. But listen, my dad wasn't there enough. What you want me to do? I'm you sorry. Oh, I've even I've even called dad my dad mom. like, "Yo, yeah, you." They don't know that. Yo, <laughs> I've even called my pops. I've tried to use the dad card so much that I've called my pops like, "Yo, you need to talk to her and let her know like." The environment you didn't I was raised in. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I was raised, you know what I'm saying? It was rough. It was rough growing up in the Bronx like that. Like, Yo, was a lot of nigga put trauma. his dad on the phone with mm. me so his dad can say, yeah, man. Just be like, Yo, the example I set for him, like, that's the behavior now. He's yeah. doing it to you because I did it to his mom and like, I needed It's a that. trickle down effect. Like, once you throw a trickle down effect into the like, pot. Like, he's never seen a stable relationship before so you gotta like, you got to understand and work with him so yeah. it, so you don't repeat the same mistakes that I did with his mom. Like, right. I've just needed that. That only worked one time. Eesh. That's when you got to sing uh, When Doves Cry. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's never satisfied. Oh, but I, You I, throw I that on a chick, she's going to be like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> and since we was talking about therapy, I thought I had daddy issues. I just realized I have mommy issues. So now I'm trying to use the mommy issue card. <laughs> I can't use the mom because my mom, she'll, she'll, she'll tell it all. She get on the phone with a girl. Like, listen, that nigga ain't never changing. I can tell you that right now. He ain't never going to change. Just like his dad. Just like his father. That's why I left him back in the 80s. I'm like, wow, hold up. You're supposed to hold me down in this situation. Yeah. Like, nah, I can't call moms in that. Oh, yo, Pops yo, will hold me down. Yo, your mom will sell you out. Oh, for sure. My mom sold me out. Did she? Really? Oh, on, on the, the big, big breakup? Oh, man. I went, I went, so. to, I went to, to console with my mom. And she was like, yo, you're a piece of shit. Damn. Oh, she gave you that one. She yeah, gave that that talk. Mm-hmm. She's like, I want to hear. It. That's necessary though. Like you oh, need no, a mom I, that's gonna get, gonna do that to you. Of course. But at that same time, I like wanted to talk to my mom, like motherly type shit. Like he was and sad. she over here consoling this chick. <laughs> Did she say that and, in front she, of the girl though? No, she okay. said that to me privately. Okay, then that's that's, that's but not they that bad. they stayed in in contact for like the whole week. So who knows what my mom was giving up in those oh, conversations? No, that's, that's called, you know, PR work. She was doing your PR work. She was I, smoothing things it over. It appeared that way, and then I realized it wasn't that. It, it wasn't was that. it was it was building on how much of a piece of shit I was. Oh, she was validating all your piece yes. of shitness. Yeah, man. Moms are like that sometimes. They 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 roll with because they they're women, so they mm. have to identify with other women and you know oh, yeah, yeah. relationship and she, she, struggles and issues, and uh, they know their I know, child. I know and, it triggered 
her yeah. with everything that happened. And I told him he couldn't go to the zoo when he was five and he was never the same since. Like, you know, they moms throw all of that in the pot. Yo. Like, I didn't sign the consent form in junior high and he never loved himself since then. Like, yo, you know, they go I'm through- I'm che- <laughs> I cheated on you yo. because oh my God. I didn't go on a field trip. <laughs> and it's been resonating here. My mom here. wouldn't let me go. You know what I mean? It was a bake sale and she sent me to get an Inamins instead of baking me a real cake and I was laughed at by everybody. Like, and that's why I liked her story. Yeah, exactly. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, man. Well, keep I'm your phone I'm, on lock. No, no, phone is always I, locked. There's nothing in my phone that I mean, you know, I'm single, so it's, I don't. Y'all wake up about y'all sleep with somebody going through your phone? That shit, like, like I'll wake up from a dead of a sleep, like just. You I can feel, feel somebody. It. I feel it. That means you got. You've been doing some filth. crazy shit. That guys. means you got filth and in I your phone. I sleep with my phone under my pillow. No, oh, I think, you oh, got. Oh, that's filth. crazy. I think I have brain damage because you're not supposed to sleep even really close to your phone. It's bad for you. Yeah, none of your I used to sleep. With the phone under the pillow. Yeah. Right oh, yeah, that means y'all oh, have nah, filth. Yeah. With my hand on no. the phone under the pillow, like... And I know we joking. Dang, what you I, do? I, I you might as well sleep with your pants. So you sleep with your pants on, too? Like, damn. I know a girl that used to, she used to come over and try to get in the bed with G. I'm like, well, we, oh. first of all, you can lay down. I'm not going to touch you, but why you got your, your pants on? Oh. Have you been touched before and didn't like it? Like, Probably. that's what I would think. <laughs> like, if you sitting there with your phone, uh, your hand on the phone under the pillow, I'm like, well, somebody went through her phone and caught her with all kind of shit before. How, That's how, a clear indicator of you got some shit in there that you don't want nobody to see. Nah. No. No. Here's the thing. It's going to sound like an excuse. Yeah. And it's not. Yes, there was a time when there was things on my phone that were very inappropriate that my significant other saw and shouldn't have saw and I shouldn't have been doing. Take all accountability on that. But you do get PTSD mm-hmm. of when significant others break your electronics. Oh, yeah. I mean. Go through your stuff. Like, even if there's nothing, you just become so accustomed to protecting your own items. I'm not letting you get that off. You I'm are not, not, you are not sleeping with your hand on your phone no, because you're scared right. somebody's going to break it. He's right, bro. You sleeping nah, with your hand on your phone right. because it's, you scared yeah, she going to get it and find all that. Or she or he is going to get your phone and find okay, all that. Okay, then, 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 then explain this to me. Why once it was over, I still did the same thing. Cause you still have filth in your phone. <laughs> no, I'm saying no. I'm saying no, no one was next. The, no, there was no one next to me in the bed. There was no. Bed would basically in the phone would be underneath yeah. the pillow. <laughs> like it's just it's it's such a habit of having your mm-hmm. privacy be invaded and things being broken and it doesn't make anything right that was in the phone that was found. But moving forward, when there was nothing, I'm still like, nah. Let me. You know what? I don't need my laptop today, but I'm bringing that shit it. with me. Yeah, <laughs> I do. It's coming with thing. me. You know what it is? I've, I th- I've had three MacBooks shattered. This shit's coming with me. It's the anxiety of that they're going to find something else that's definitely not that extreme. But they'll make but it it'll, it'll be the catalyst to yes. make mm-hmm. them break some shit again. They'll make it. They'll then make you it. need to remove those people out of your life. Easier said than Why done. Why do we talk to Maul about this? Why? Easier said than done. Because Maul nothing thinks, but knowledge. Thinks, Maul thinks the entire world is just so logical. And like everything no. makes sense. If, if you gotta, if you have to, if you have to sleep with your devices under your pillow. Maul, you think love is logical and it's not. I'm, you think feelings that's not, are no, logical people like to not. put People like to put love on shit. Cut it out. A lot of these motherfuckers ain't running around. They don't love each other. They just like fucking each other. And they oh, both sure. in financial situations where they both need each other. And that's why they're together. I felt okay. attacked. They don't love each other. Like, we're not going to just start putting love on everything. Oh, I agree with you. A there. lot of these couples, they don't love each other. They just need each other at the moment that they are at in their lives. Uh, some and people they, are, are, and myself included, are... Comfortable being miserable because it's a familiar thing. Yeah. I can be. I just, let me stay in this because it's familiar. It. I don't love it. Yeah. But, but if you sleeping with familiar. your if you sleeping with your devices and your hand on them, MacBook, phone, and everything, because fam, just cut that person off. Stop fucking with them. That person is not healthy for you. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. I had I had to do that. Like you going through my phone, I was just like, I can't. Somebody going through your phone, they don't trust you. Why are you with yeah. them? Yeah, you are right. I agree. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Why are you with them? They don't trust you. If you don't have trust, you ain't got, you ain't got nothing. What are we doing together? What's, and I agree from the other side, too. If I got to go through your phone, I shouldn't be with you. At yeah, all. Yeah. Like both sides. If you're with someone that goes through your phone, you probably shouldn't Person be doesn't trust you. Why are you Also, together? if you're going through someone's phone. Why are you with somebody you can't trust? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's all. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Today's episode is brought to you by Raycon's uh, base, <laughs> base Air Buds. Uh, base Boost. <laughs> Bass boost. The bass boost. I love the bass boost on the Raycons. We, we'll, we'll do the real ad. Oh, yeah. We'll do the real ad later. <laughs> Just had to throw Ray J in there. Shout How out are you Ray guys J. living when, when IG showed everything you guys did? Oh, my oh, God. Ooh, those was dark fucking times. Yo, Jesus Christ. That time was a very... Listen, IG, the best thing you ever did, 
And I wanted, I think Elon may have had something to do with it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just put it on Elon. I think Elon changed but that. Don did it? Yeah, they just got rid of that whole activity. Yeah, why were they letting people know what I was doing? Every liked photo. Fit. It, Every comment. That's like, up there with that week only fans was like, we're going to ban nudity. And it was like, oh, so you just want your, you want to ruin your company. Yeah, you want your platform to die is, is basically what you're when saying. Instagram did that. I really stopped fucking with IG like oh yeah, the same way that I was on it before. I I'm like, I'm not, te- I'm cool. No <laughs> money bags. It was money bags was at a short, a shortage. <laughs> Super short. I was like, nah. I mean, but you can click any girl page now and, and see the money bags on there. So like, because you know, we don't need the activity tab. Nah, but that right. is I just different. assume when I click a girl's nah, page. Nah, but it's different. The activity tab. That was like somebody being right over your shoulder with a notebook, just like writing everything you was doing. It was like, fam, why are y'all telling everybody? Well, that you know, just like someone's really picture. Sick, though. When I click these girls' pages and I see the money bag shit from Mall, I then go to their followers, and Mall's not following them. <laughs> Maybe in a, maybe in a, uh, you know how page. sick that is? You Keep throwing ma- money right, bags when you don't even follow? <laughs> no, you don't got to follow them. Nah, I ain't got to follow them to show no. love. They come up on the explore yeah. page. That's it. It's love is love. Listen, love is free. Right. Love is fair. Everybody should feel loved. So that's what I do. I just run around. I just, just throw bags love. of love. That's it. I don't have to follow you to love you. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I didn't, look at what you think love is. <laughs> I, I just that's why I just didn't pay any It is love. <laughs> Edison, uh, you're the only one in this room still in a relationship because the rest of us are uh, working on ourselves. Okay, that's <laughs> becoming a better version of myself. Yeah, I have Thanks. to love me before I can love you. So yes. let me give to you put a my tip. oxygen mask on first. Instagram recently <laughs> implemented a feature where you can go back. And you can, like, on your page, you can go back and look at everything you've ever liked. Oh, yeah, you every, can see every, every activity you've done. you've ever done. Wait, where is this? In your settings. On your, on your, in your settings. Yeah. You can go in there and oh. see. See, this is why I keep my phone under my pillow. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. You can see everything you've done. I don't think I want to see that. Every like you've ever sent, every comment. I went back and looked. I was looking at comments. I was commenting under things. I was never a commenter. Like, All of that is on there? Yeah. yeah. So it's like a spreadsheet? Yeah. Yeah. Of your activity on Instagram yeah. since the day you were born? Yeah. Probably. Since 2011, 12? That's Sick. crazy. I want to know who was the first girl I left the money bags under. I, I would want to go back and f- find that out. She's a special be a gal. Yeah, she, she's the legend for sure. We got to bring her on the pod. It would. Ha- it may, maybe. And we have to find the it date. It might that be you did Drea, it. if I think hard enough. Mm. It might be that Drea. Makes sense. Drea, was, Drea was queen of Instagram for a very long time. It might be Drea. Yeah. I gotta. I would like to go back and, and find. I, I don't even know how I could find that though. Gotta go through whatever go through, tab yeah, she's talking about. Go through about. that thing and you can. Yeah, see. but I didn't put money bags from here. Well, you can. Even. I think you can select by year, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, that's so then that, that makes things. Yeah, that makes things up. <laughs> yeah, they don't a lot easier. A bit Does that make y'all nervous a little bit? No, nah, because I've never done nothing crazy on IG, so not nervous. But yeah, and I've I've gotten over uh, the shame because you know the internet. That's what sucks with these kids growing up literally with the internet. Everything they've ever done from every age is going to be documented and they're going to have to live with that. Oof. I've gotten over the embarrassment of things that I've done on the internet at a young age. That yeah. took a minute though. Yeah. Cause I was like, Oh, who is this person? Like yeah. this is just, dis- and I'm like, all right. You literally watch yourself grow up. On it's, the it's gross. Yeah. And Your way of thinking. It, yeah. Things that you used to do places you used to go. Some and what sucks memories. is now you're, you're connected to that. Like there's no, you're not allowed to grow up or yeah. think differently. <laughs> <laughs> like mm-hmm. you're attached to that thought from that year. Right. So I've gotten over that. So I, I would probably look at that stuff and laugh now. But like a year or two ago, if I looked at that tab, I would feel shame and disgust about myself. A year or two. Like, ugh, what, like uh, who was I? Look who you DMing right now. Yeah. <laughs> nasty. Are you just, just giving it up? Nastiness. Yeah. Uh, so we had some interesting uh, things occur during the last two days. Uh, I guess we could start with uh, Dave Chappelle being attacked. At his show in uh in in California, mm-hmm. Hollywood Bowl at the Hollywood Bowl, uh, got tackled. How did the person? I want to know. Have you guys been to Hollywood Bowl before? Yeah, I haven't. Mm-hmm. I I just how did someone even get on stage? Well, I think the way they set that up, you know, it was kind of orchestra style, maybe. Yeah. So maybe you know, I don't know. Maybe it was he got around and slipped through the cracks. Know, yeah, some something like that. I'm pretty sure at the. At the comedy show, it may have been a little more laid back security wise and things like that. Uh, but then again, who am I talking? Because at every Palooza, I was like, how did this person get on stage? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it happened. How did you get here? If somebody wants to get on stage, they, 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 they can get on stage. They can, they, can, they can get on stage. But uh, 
it's, it was good to uh, know that Dave was okay. Right. Uh, the the suspect did have a weapon. He had a knife, so that that could have gotten really really bad. Yeah. And so, a, a fake gun. Yeah. That so was also a knife. I'm not sure how the fuck he got that in. Uh, because I've been to a Chappelle show and uh, security is can't get your phone. Yeah, like security <laughs> is crazy. So uh, I don't know how that happened, but um, glad that Dave is okay. Uh, they 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 didn't uh. They didn't do too much talking with the suspect. They uh, they let their hands and feet was, do the uh. He was neutralized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The threat neutralized. was neutralized. The threat was put down. Um, which I'm I'm glad that they put that picture of his face out. Like, yeah, you yeah, know this this could happen. Obviously, he was on some type of drugs. He was not, you know, something. Even when he was uh handcuffed to the to the uh was it the gurney they call it. Uh, yeah. he was uh still acting a little erratic and. And you his tell arm he was, was like definitely a whole different direction. Yeah, they probably just, oh, broke so, his arm or something like so that. Somehow that shit was just weird to me. Outside of just getting on stage, so your point there. How did that? How did he get a knife? Like I just don't understand how all of those three things happened. Give stage. Yeah. Or he could have had. You know, he could have been one of those people that had like a little press pass and snuck it in with his camera yeah. equipment. Like you know, I've seen the bodyguard. I've seen videos of people on YouTube. I've fake a press pass, but still, of course, like make a fake press pass and yeah. then get through like to like floor seats of an yeah, NBA game. Absolutely, yeah, no, it happens all the time. Yeah, Carl was teaching me how to do that. He said, "Yeah, just bring a camera." Hey, hey, man, oh, no, come on. Peach, man. did Peach ever tell you his his Watch the Throne shit? No, I mean, they what? posted, and this is their statue of limitations. Uh, no, Peach will not be allowed on any uh at any. Well, venue. he didn't rush the Watch the Throne stage. Like He's got everyone it. was sit- I, Jay and Kanye, to my understanding now, are both safe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> someone posted like the all access pass or whatever on Twitter for because you know they did like a week of shows here. Mm-hmm. And Peach, being amazing at Photoshop, was like, "God bless Peach." Wait, that's it. Mm-hmm. So he bought a ticket, like the cheapest, cheapest ticket ever for like the highest shit, mm-hmm. and then just made an all access pass based off the picture from Twitter. Jesus, and got to the front row. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Genius. Love it. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how this gentleman got a knife inside the Hollywood Bowl, but I'm glad that Dave is okay. Do do we think? Sh- should we talk about it? If it was staged? Conspiracy theory? Yeah. I'm not saying I Why believe not? it, but let's talk about it. Okay. It, it was a setup was, for was a good a laugh, setup? laugh. Did, did Comedy Central, are they trying to protect their Oof. comedians? <laughs> Did Viacom put this together? <laughs> you guys will not run up on us. We will show you what happens. <laughs> nah, man. I don't, I don't that think that the this sacrificial was... land for all stand-up comedians? Nah, I don't I don't think this was uh one of those conspiracies of being set up. I think this was literally some Looney Tune getting into the Hollywood Bowl and him really had he probably really had plans on physically hurting Dave. Yeah. I believe that. Well, I, that's very unfortunate. And let's yeah. please protect Dave Chappelle at all fucking costs. But I could I could see it. And you know, of course, Dave, I could see it being staged. You know, Dave had to have jokes about it, which was is what comedians oh, are gonna and, do. And Chris, Chris Rock, Rock as well. It was just like, all right, the Will Smith shit just happened. Chris Rock is there. I know comedians are already nervous as is, because to have that in the back of your mind when you're literally saying "quote unquote" offensive things the mm-hmm. entire show, to think, oh fuck, someone could come up here and like, see me about what I'm saying, exactly. could ruin that entire genre. Period. So is this? A way to just nip that shit in the butt, like, hey, we're n- no one's gonna be running up on us. Look, everyone, yeah. we're gonna beat the shit out of them, and Dave is gonna be fine. Oh, so you think it was just to mainly set the example? Yes, I think, I think the comedy world saw what happened with Will and was like, fuck, if this becomes a trend, because now at any comedy club, the new viral moment could be yeah, running just, up on a comedian, which is unfortunate, and could I'm telling you, really ruin stand up comedy. Right. So yeah, let's. Let's beat the shit out of somebody that's attacking the biggest comedian in the world and show it on camera. Look at his face. Uh, y'all y'all can't do this. I would, really, I would roll could, with that if, but who, what, what guy is going to agree to, okay, y'all are going to beat the shit oh, out of me after this? I mean, but let's be real here. Dave got money. Yeah, but that dude got his fucking, he has a, his head on, a, it's another head on his head now. Yeah. <laughs> Like, how do you, you know what I'm saying? You don't agree to like, all right, fuck me up. Like, I get it. Half a mil? Maybe if you pay, yeah, but I don't think so. I don't think, because I, I don't, think, yeah, half a mil is not worth the example. You know why? Only because I you feel like. You beat me up for 500,000. <laughs> like that? Oh, yeah. I mean, for me? five, for, I've for, been beat for up for mil? free. Yeah, like, for half a mil, yeah, you could jump me. I don't mind. But I'm just saying, I, only because now, if that gets out that that was staged, 
that would suck. Ass. You understand? And I think that that's always what you have to think about if you're trying to plan something like that is how much can we trust that this will never get out? Man. That's all. Watch on Reddit. They're going to find that that guy last year at Montreal Comedy Festival doing stand-up like, oh, it, he was a comedian. Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh, this, they all knew uh, each other. <laughs> maybe, maybe he was a comedian. Maybe he is no, a comedian. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm really just talking shit. But I, just, but I, I, I don't think that, that was fake. That. I don't think that that was staged. I think that that was real, and it was just some some loony Ben that just got a hold of some type of pass or something and worked his way to to the front and mm. tried to take a shot at Dave. He tried to he tried to get close up on him to where he could harm him, but um, security quickly neutralized the perp. And uh, <laughs> the perp. I, I love that. I love that name. The we should perp. bring perp back. Yeah, neutralized the perp, put him down, got him up out of there, and uh, Dave Chappelle went on with the show. So glad that Dave Chappelle is safe. Um, yeah, man. So just be careful for these comedians at these live shows, man, because I like where we said I do believe that there will be a uh, a trend of hecklers, you know, feeling some type of way about what comedians are saying and feeling like they want to have their viral moment. Everybody wants to have a viral moment. They're doing all types of shit for viral moments now. You, you don't know what people are willing to do. So, um, yeah, just be safe, man. To all comedians that's touching these stages around the world, be safe. And no, you just get your fucking ass whooped. Oh, How do you yeah. feel about uh, Chris Rock getting his last laugh? Oh, getting Chris Rock. Well, Chris, laugh. Chris Rock and, and, ain't... Didn't you say it was his last day? Yeah. <laughs> Mad Three <laughs> weeks ago. Um, no, but How do you feel Rock... about Chris Rock getting his last laugh? <laughs> Shut up. Chris Rock is, is still on tour, I believe, right? <laughs> And uh, I I knew I do know that he is going to have because uh, I believe Chris Rock is on tour with with Chappelle with Chappelle I thought right it was now just with Kevin Hart. I think he is on tour with Kevin Hart as well. I don't think Chappelle's involved that at all. Oh, I, Chappelle was no, shooting no. a special. He's on tour with Kevin Hart. That was ah. his, he just happened to be every comedian was there that night at yeah, uh, the Hollywood Bowl. But um, and I knew I do know that Chris, I think Chris Rock has his own stand up coming uh soon, and I'm pretty sure he sure, has I a thousand so. Will Smith bars uh ready to go. This was that was that was too easy. That, oh, that was the joke yeah. was you ran too. That yeah, that was way too to easy. Get that shit off. Um, another stabbing news. Uh, unfortunately, stabbing news. Uh, uh, legendary rapper Kid Creole has been sentenced to 16 years for the fatal stabbing of a homeless man named John Jolly in Midtown Manhattan. Kid Creole was on his way to work when the violent run-in with Jolly took place. As he told police at the time. He approached me. I got a little nervous. So then I tried to back up a little bit and he moved forward. And then I just took the knife and stabbed him. I wish I never would have seen him. It's all my fault because I chose to stab him. I have to take responsibility for that. Uh, Celestine has always maintained he acted in self-defense and believed his fear for his life was reasonable. There are also various accounts suggesting Jolly didn't actually die from the stab wounds. Instead, some think he died from a dose of the sedative benzodiazepine. Close enough. Uh, peroxide that was given to him at a hospital. Ah, okay. I wasn't familiar with this at all. What yeah. Is, what, mm. what is this? This is uh, rapper Kid Creole from the Furious Five, legendary uh, rap group. Okay, he, I'm uh, aware of who he is. I, I just didn't know yeah, any so of he, this happened. Yeah, I, I remember reading about this a while ago. Yeah, so he stabbed a guy, a uh, homeless guy. I guess he felt like the guy was acting kind of erratic and approaching yeah. him. He felt threatened and uh, he stabbed him. Uh, and he was sentenced to 16 years for that. But I'm pretty sure he's going to appeal that, which I think he may win. I don't think he has a violent mm. past or anything like that. Um, but he has been sentenced to 16 years for the stabbing. And it's just interesting that people feel like he, uh, the guy died from some uh, a sedative that he was given instead of the actual stab. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure maybe forensics, uh, somebody can prove, you know, autopsy. Mm. Maybe I don't know that they probably will be able to prove that he didn't die from the stab wound. Mm. So, um, yeah, we just got to keep an eye on that story. Either way, it's an unfortunate situation uh, both ways. Uh, uh, life was lost, and Kid Creole now has to spend some time in prison for that. So, um, mm -hmm. yes, prayers no. to both families. Damn, I, I had no idea. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, funnier news, though. Eden, can I sell your sex tape? Can um, make a billy? Can you sell my sex, sex tape? tape? Which think, one? You think his sex tape would get you a billy? I mean... I got, I got some moves. I got some rotations. I could have stayed right. hungover okay. in my bed today. <laughs> no, we're we're here to f f find out all about uh, you don't think I could fuck sex good? moves. Excuse me. Now y'all are just two men are weird, weirdly staring at each other. What happened? What no one. Say? What he said. I was the only one that heard him. Yeah, I didn't. Hear I him. didn't hear him. What did he say? He said, "You don't think I fuck good." <laughs> Eden, you can't ask men. You, Eden, you cannot ask other men. Do they think you can fuck good? 
<laughs> I've never thought about never it. Never thought about <laughs> editing fucking good at all. Uh, but sex tapes, yes. Yeah, so uh, some interesting inf- information has come out about sex tapes. Is it interesting? Well, it's interesting only because it's finally like you confirmed. know confirmed uh, th- thoughts that we had on the whole Ray J Kim Kardashian sex tape over the years has been confirmed that it was indeed planned and staged and thought out and a business move. There was marketing behind it. Uh, there was publicists. There was uh, they smoked that rollout. Oh yeah, it was a rollout. There was all kind of things. <laughs> Her first album was crazy. So uh, Her debut. So so Kim uh, Ray J came out and said, you know, basically, you know, he's still being painted as the uh, the perp. In this situation, is he though? Has, well, does it, anyone it care? I'm I'm saying as far as like how it came out or whose fault it was. Has, does anyone care? I, I know people care about the tape, obviously. Yeah, I don't think people. Well, I understand why Ray J would care because mm. it's like you know people still look at me like I did something so foul and betrayed my ex girlfriend and did something so you know that's just something that men should never do, which is put out. You know, any type of videos and sex tapes of, you know, of women. So I can understand why Ray J would still feel a way, but like the people view him in that light. Agreed there. I just don't, I don't think anyone really thought that Ray J leaked that sex tape. Well, some people did. There's a lot of people. Some people, yeah, absolutely. Some people really did feel like Ray J uh, put that out because especially him and uh, Kim were broken up at the time. So, you know, maybe one wish, one wish was out. Yeah, no. Why Ray would J- he need to leak it? Yeah, Ray J was definitely uh he was well off. By the Sexy time Can I was ringing. In no, the Ray streets. J was doing Ray J was doing very well in life. He wasn't struck well, I don't know if he was struggling uh with other areas of his life, but he financially he seemed to be in a good space in his life. I think but, it's just easier to believe that a man leaked a tape of that course. they mutually that just agreed isn't on anything it. for Ray J to gain. Now, if Kim was Kim now, I mean we still talking yeah, about now it, today. it would be like, oh, okay, I could see a world. It is, would be disgusting, but I can see a world where Ray J, maybe, let's not even say Ray J, a man would leak a sex tape with Kim Kardashian. Mm-hmm. She was just some chick. That's true. Yeah, and he but, made one wish. Yeah, but you know, it, at the time, <laughs> so, she, was, she was still, she was who still. Who is to benefit from a sex tape coming out when I have one wish and I'm Brandy Norwood's brother and you're a chick on vacation with me? Well, that was his girlfriend at the time. Yeah. On vacation, and she looked good. Uh, but Kim, Kim was she? She was big back then. She had a name, absolutely. As, and I'm I'm not discrediting Kim what Kardashian was, at all. She's a fucking mogul now. Kim was word, running around with Paris she was Hilton, p- like she as wasn't an assistant. Like, what, what, what would be the benefit of yeah, Ray but, J doing that? In like, oh, I'm gonna leave. No, this. I think <laughs> when it no when they filmed it, I think that. But I think when the time it came out, I think Kim was a little bigger than when they actually filmed it, though. Was because I think it came season out after one of Keeping it. Up with the Kardashians even on. Yeah. No, I don't think Keeping Up with the Kardashians was on yet. But she still was big though. She was like a sought after. She was one of the she was probably the hottest girl in Hollywood at the time. Ah, you're dragging it. At that time? Nah. She was. She was doing she was already doing uh late night TV shows. She was doing all kinds of shit at that time already before that tape came out. She wasn't that. She was if listen, you could be right. I don't know the timeline. She was dating, she was still dating a bunch. She she had dated a few other guys after Ray at that time. Like, so she was like the girl that people I think she was with Nick Cannon when it leaked. Well, we know his track record, so she had to be hot. (laughs) How did she not get pregnant? It was in 2007 when (laughs) that tape came out. 2007? Yeah, Kim was, she wasn't, she wasn't like still up under Paris Us regular people were not in the know of that y'all knew this Hollywood chick. No, but but she was definitely a, a, a known, uh, she was definitely one of the most popular girls at that time. We liked Raymond J. No, for sure. Like, was, no, I get what you're saying. At, at that time, Ray J was the quote unquote celebrity. He was the biggest celebrity at that time, without a doubt. But she was definitely like the hot girl that, you know, they was like, oh, she's having, she has a sex tape. It was like, oh, wow. Like, like okay. We watched, I know Paris had a bunch of sex tape, but we watched the Paris Hilton sex tape for Paris. Mm-hmm. I mean. I don't even, I don't even know the dude's name. No, but people like, watch, no, no, no. People watch that Ray J Kim tape to see Kim. Kim, yeah. Kim's body. Like, yeah. people was like, damn, she's bad. I, I agree. Looked, she, I agree. I agree. my point. I'm not talking about what we were really looking at. It was Paris Hilton, not the other dude. It no, was Ray J. No, it wasn't is, Kim. Paris's sex tape yeah. was definitely for Paris did, Hilton. Did Kim yeah. look great? Did I think that Ray J was gonna be fucking an ugly girl? Probably not. So mm-hmm. that didn't cross my mind. I was like, oh, Ray J has a sex tape. That's funny. No, but it was Kim <laughs> K though. 
Trust me. I'm t- yeah, I, I, I get Kim what Maul's saying. I when I was it, younger, it became that way. No, don't get it was, twisted. No, it was no that one way has pivoted before. better than Kim Kardashian on planet motherfucking Earth. But. No, it was for Kim K. It was for she. Kim K. She got the deal with with Vivid. I think at the time it was she was she was she was bad. She looked good. Okay, I'll say this then. She was a socialite. Is she absolutely because Ray J saying they all sat down and planned it and did it, which we all knew. Mm-hmm. If Kim went in there and was fucking Eden. <laughs> Is Why she is getting funny? the deal? All right, fucking me. She's in there fucking me. And got everyone on the internet, I know Kim yes. Kardashian would never fuck me. I'm not doing it in that regard. Or me either. Um, <laughs> I, is she getting the same deal with Vivid? Is Vivid even taking the meeting? <laughs> if yes, if Kim Kardashian I mean, says, I'm fucking someone on camera. Yes. Okay, I, that's where I just Really? Yes. yes. She was She was one of She was one of the hottest I girls be, I could be totally wrong, scene and I'm time. sure I'm wrong, but I just, how I view Vivid that. Vivid is a fucking a, now, a, adult it entertainment been, company. It wouldn't have been as much money if it wasn't with Ray J, but they would have definitely still been interested. Absolutely, they would have been interested. She used okay. to run in those circles, the, the Parises, the was Lincoln, hot. The I know, I know that. The, all of the hot white girls, like, she was one of them. Okay. All right, let's say if it's not Ray J, it was somebody else. You think it would have blown up as hard? Uh, That's yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like, I think I, so. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. The fact so that she it was, was Ray J. Some dude that Kim Kardashian is now who she is as far as her career steps went. Mm-hmm. If she was just said with her mom, went in that meeting, be like, yo, I'm fucking my boyfriend that none of y'all know. Mm-hmm. She's leveraging everything she's leveraged from that sex tape yes. with just some random dude. Yes. yes. And the reason oh, why, just, and this is, yes. this is my argument when it comes to people. Y'all got to put come, more respect on Raymond's name. When they no, come. I, no, because it when was they, what it is, what it is because it was Ray J and I'm her. Saying. But, it was definitely more so she got the deal done with Vivid because it's, she was in a, a beautiful girl. I'm not People saying, were like, oh, we're going to see her naked having of sex. Of course like, people would want to see Kim Kardashian yes. naked and fuck. But I'm saying, does it leverage the same way? If it wasn't Ray J. If it wasn't with Ray J. Yes. And this is why I say this, because the reason <laughs> why plenty Kim of is beautiful women that fuck on camera and nothing happens. She fucked Ray J. It's because her mother had a business plan. Oh, the one of the best. Right. On it. So no matter who she yeah. fucked. They were gonna make money off of that because if somebody else would have went and fucked Ray J, they wouldn't have became Kim Kardashian. Oh, whoa, whoa, I Chris agree. is the that's the thing. Chris is the, is you're, the guideline to all of you're this. mis you're misunderstanding what I'm saying because I've said on this podcast plenty of times. There's millions of women that are from LA and right. fuck and nothing happens. Millions. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim is a is a genius. Mobile. Like mm-hmm. she's yeah. incredible. I don't take anything away from what. She's done in that regard. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that anyone could have fucked Ray J and they'd be the most mm-hmm. famous human being on earth right now. Right. That's Kim. That's her mother. That's their talent. They're the best at it. But they're not starting the way they started if Kim just fucked some random guy. It's not happening. Okay. It's just not happening. Okay. Well, we we, we can't. I'm not saying Kim we'll couldn't get know. to where she was because we've seen her talent regardless and everything she's done. She's not even remotely close to defined by that sex tape. She is mm-hmm. so much more than that. Right. Of course. It, I'm just saying it would take it a lot longer for if it was Kim just a and Chris yeah. to get a reality show if she walked into a fucking company and said, I'm fucking my boyfriend who none of y'all know on camera. Okay. I get, I get what like, you're saying. Like that's just not happening. No, we so, we know that it's be, it, it was because of celebrity. There was it was cel- it was a celebrity sex yeah. tape, meaning that it was Ray J who was a celebrity mm-hmm. and Kim who was quote unquote a celebrity at the time herself. So it's a but celebrity. It's a celebrity but, couple mm. having sex. So yes, you're right. If the if it was a regular random boyfriend that she just who worked at wherever and we didn't know who he was. It wouldn't have had the same allure, but it still would have been a big deal because Kim K did have a name and did have a following at that time. She was all over every That's fucking magazine. I, I, she I was, was young in and every fucking. Attention. Yeah, she was all over every magazine. She was everywhere on TV with really? Paris Hilton. Absolutely. I, I mean, I know she was her sister. Kim Ab- was like out there like that. Absolutely. She Before that sex social, tape came out. Yeah, Absolutely. She was one of those socialite girls. Oh, then like, I'm, I, I take everything I said. Yeah, I'm wrong. Because I knew who I'll, she was. Hey, I'm wrong, in, everyone. <laughs> I was in seventh grade and I knew who she was before the sex tape. So when, like, you know, oh, kids see shit. Did. When I saw, like, the sex tape ads and stuff like that on, like, the internet, I was like, oh my God. Like, all right. Well, yeah. everyone, don't cut off your YouTube or audio this part and just cut certain pieces of this. I'm wrong. Everything I just said. Yeah, I'm always wrong. <laughs> well, everyone, don't kill me on the internet. Hey, I'm wrong. I, I was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, but you, I think I made some points in there though. You did. No, you made some I, points. I agree. But trust me. I'm Kim, with you. Kim had a following at the time. I, she see, was definitely like. Well, you're. Not, I didn't know you that weren't her audience. Of course. Yeah, um, you was well, young though. You was really young at that time. You're saying I watched it to see Ray J. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's sick. I watched for Ray. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> watched for Ray. Yeah, you was definitely more Ray, familiar with Ray. Ray, Ray brought his that. audience and me to the tape. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm glad that, that uh Ray J cleared that up and came out and said that that whole thing was planned and you know they had a whole, you know, idea to put it out and mm. it wasn't like he just leaked a sex tape. But looking back at that sex tape, I definitely have better sex tapes on my phone. Oh, I, I'm actually disappointed. I didn't think it was staged. I think they, what I thought is they filmed the sex tape and then they got together and was like, let's put this out. Yeah. Is Ray J saying they literally staged it like the way uh, no, Mimi and Old Boy did? I think he's saying that they, they've been had a bunch of tapes. Yeah, they had okay. a bunch of, Good. Bunch of, I, I bunch of sex upset. videos together and they just had a plan to just, you know, let's, let's sell it. And just, this company is trying to pay a lot of money. Why not? Okay, I'm cool with it. And granted, my dick is trash and I'm aware that if they staged that, that was a shitty sex tape. If that was like a planned staged sex tape, but not this, not the actual recording. That's what I'm it. saying. No, it was that was just they were okay. on vacation. You yeah, know, no, I, I, boyfriend I, and girlfriend at the time. Of course, these are just I videos those they two. had. This was this was them getting their OnlyFans money what? before OnlyFans. Have y'all seen the tape? Yeah, yeah. Well, but I, he I like, don't think the whole thing. I've I seen remember that he like talks into camera at one point. Yeah, they were well, on they vacation. Were they were really making a sex tape. No, they, they they were on vacation. It was kind of like you know for but their. You don't personal... think that was, pl- but you don't think he recorded that one for no, it no, to no, go no, out. No, no, that was all like just like personal vacation footage, and we may never you know. know. I don't think that they. I don't know, even think they. Nor know should at we this care. Point. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't I mean, yeah, fuck, but know. I don't think that. I think that was just personal vacation shit, and it was just like, you know, we might be able to make some money from this. I just and feel like they thought about the angles a lot for what it no, was. Well, you think about the angles when you make your own sex tape. Like you want to look back at him like, damn, like the worst sex tape ever was the, the well, like the worst sex tape story was what's um Stevie J's ex ex wife. Oh Mimi? my god, shower Mimi? rod. Is her name Mimi? Mimi. Mimi. Yeah, Mimi. And she was on the shower rod in the uh the piggly wiggly. What hotel was that? Not the piggly. That hotel piggly. was terrible. I just wonder if. People are so stupid that they think we're stupid. They do. Well, people are stupid. Let's just let's just put that out there. A lot when, of people are stupid. When it came out, they did the whole like, oh my God, TSA, like we put it through the machine and then we took our bags, not knowing like somebody went in the bag and took it. And took your sex tape. Uh, no, the funny part was what, they what were was saying, it on a DVD. No, the funny part was they were saying like it was a personal tape and all that, but they and then somebody was like, but the camera's moving. Somebody's so recording this. That's where I was like, do y'all realize that there's camera movements yeah. this entire <laughs> yeah. like someone like somebody's is, recording this? And they were trying to make it sound like it was their like, personal, yes. private, like nobody was there, it was just them. And it was like, all right, man, I get it. But listen, man, people see that, you know, what Kim was able to do from that, people gonna try to jump in that lane as well. Like, fuck it, I got some sex tapes. I could try to get at least half of what they got. But this is what this is where I guess maybe my self-esteem would come into play. I would have actually probably no issue with a sex tape of mine leaking. I probably wouldn't care. Same. Really at all, actually. But if I were to plan to put out a sex tape for financial gain or for leverage to clout, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and it doesn't do anything, you know how crushing that I'd would be? be? Sick. <laughs> yeah. I'd be throwing yeah, egos. Like, you could just like, wait, crawl on. under a rock I'd and just never come out, out again. One of the most vulnerable things you can do, which is... Well, not anymore. Let's be clear. Visually absent. That sex tape shit is not that like it's niggas. Nobody very, gives a if fuck about that. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you wouldn't be like, "What the fuck?" Dog, you're ass naked, Me? fucking somebody. It's, it's yeah. That's a vulnerable thing, whether you want to say it or not. It no, a, it's a vulnerable thing. But what I'm saying is like, people trying to like get a bag from it now is kind of oh, like, oh no, that's uh, that's, that's yeah, right. I'm just saying yeah. if if I do that, because we saw the black myself, China sex tape, nobody spoke about it. I, like, I mean, we talked about it. Did we for how long? Yeah, we're still we're still talking about Ray J and Kim Kardashian to this day. 20 years 20, ago, yeah, right? 20 years right. later. I would just be crushed that my sex tape didn't get me any money or attention. Like, how trash is that? Like, that's what I'm retweets. saying. Like, it's a blow to your <laughs> ego. It's definitely, but but that's because now, like, you got OnlyFans. You can basically put your own sex tape out every day if you want. Right, you might as well OnlyFans. properly market it out. Yeah, like, you can do that. That shit is not as... It doesn't have to be the secret. You can just be like, hey, I'm fucking on camera. You want to pay $10? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Like that's really all it is. Before you had to do the secret, like, oh my god, I can't believe someone took it from our archives. <laughs> Nobody cares anymore. Now it's part of your rollout. Yeah, sex is everywhere now. You can literally open your phone and see people having sex right now if you want to. It's people are posting <laughs> sex videos on Twitter. I didn't even know that was happening. Oh yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. that was the craziest shit in the world to me. Like I opened my timeline one day and just seen people fucking. I was like, wait, Twitter there is yeah, Twitter. Their account is not suspended because of this. Like this nah. is 
Twitter only Twitter cared. Freaky. Twitter cares about Republican tweets, but anything else is fair game. Yeah. Okay. Like, you could post nudity, fuck, fucking everything. No, everything is on yeah. Twitter. Like, literally. That's I was like, all right. Uh, some more funny shit happened. Uh, Drake follows and DMs a troll. <laughs> DM a troll's wife on Instagram. Uh, so Drake had posted a caption saying, imagine your son makes the league and he's Ja or Melo Alonzo. All you can do is be elated and competitive and oversupportive. And it's a rite of passage to that. The OGs talk shit. I know I'm going to be this way even if my son is in a Ru- Rubik's Cube competition. Which that would be a difficult competition. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever Drake sounded like a very supportive dad. I think he is. Which is what you would want to be. You want to support your kids. Uh, so a gentleman commented under Drake's comment and said, your son probably plays with ghostwriters. So that's just a lazy, not funny yeah. joke. He yeah. was, this is obviously a guy that was looking for attention. And so Drake decided today was going to be the day where he's going to give this guy some attention. And Drake says... I love those days. Sometimes you just got to give... You got to give people, give people attention. attention that give them what they're looking for. Attention. They want this attention. I got right, some for you. I have nothing it. to do for the next hour. Here we go. I just followed your girl. This is what Drake says to this gentleman. His name is Setibo underscore Y-B-A-G-N-M. Probably his gang. Gang, gang, gang shit. Uh, I just followed your girl because she's probably miserable and needs some excitement in her life. Needless to say... Don't tell me my girl needs excitement in her life. I mean, you know, sometimes your girl she looks depressed. She needed. it. Yeah, she's probably been depressed, reaction. you know, things like that. So the gentleman says, oh, nah, this fool really did my wife. I'm crying. Yes, you really are crying because you know that your wife would fuck and suck Drake until he turns blue in the feet. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's Drake crazy DMs. I, 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 I need DM to her. live your life. <laughs> Drake DMs. <laughs> what, what's her at? Drake DM. <laughs> Drake DM the woman and said, I'm here for you, ma. <laughs> Sounds and like uh, then he followed her and his girl, you know, screenshots to follow and says, she oh, hey, oh, she was already following and says, oh, hey, <laughs> champagne poppy. Uh, Yo, if you you definitely don't get a text back after that. If my girl. Calls anyone ch- champagne Big or poppy. poppy. I mean, well, that's his screen name. You can't. Referred to as anything. Oh, he added. Yeah, okay, she I added. thought she was replying um, and said, "Hey, no, no, no. champagne she, pop." I, she screenshotted. <laughs> she screenshotted him following her. Okay, and then it was an at. I thought she was said, replying. No, 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 saying, no, no, no. She said, "Hey, at champagne poppy." This is all fun and games until uh, Drake really flies this uh, young woman out somewhere for a show, and it's now the boyfriend or husband is home crying because he doesn't know if his wife would actually fornicate with Drake. Let me be the first one to tell you that your wife would fornicate with Drake. He just signed a massive four hundred million dollar deal. Look, look at look at how you think of everyone's wife. I think there's plenty of women that would not cheat on their partner with Drake. No, she's been showing her ass ever since it happened. Wait, say that again? I think there's plenty of women that would not cheat on their partner with Drake. And I think there's plenty of women that will. Oh, I'm, I'm, I think there's plenty too, but let's not all. say all women. Oh, he just let's I don't, think, I don't think I'm just saying I don't I'm not, think I'm not cheating for Drake. One of the biggest stars on the planet, biggest star in recording music, attractive uh, dude, biggest recording artist on the planet, uh, attractive man. Yeah, you know, has his shit together. That's, right. his, that's, that's how I would describe. That's Drake. how he has his shit together. He has his shit together. <laughs> he's, uh, he's financially sound. And I've right. seen yeah. and I've seen some of these dudes that <laughs> women give the pussy to. Oh, for sure. I, None uh, of them have signed a deal for four hundred million dollars. Well, like, let's yeah, just be, I mean, let's get that out of there. None of them have fam, more hits than the Beatles. I know plenty of women that would cheat on their partner with a complete broke bum. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Let's yeah, not put on all women that they would cheat would, on their no, partner no, no, no. with. I would never put all Drake. women in that category, but we're gonna put most of them in mm. that category. I, here's okay. I think there is one person that every woman would cheat on their partner with. Tiana Taylor. I was going to say Rihanna. I think every straight woman would cheat on their partner with Rihanna. I think every 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 straight woman would cheat on their spouse with Tiana Taylor. That's probably true. For sure. But Drake is right there in the next room waiting if them if those women don't want to sleep with Tiana or with uh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Drake is right in the next room. Who's third? Guarantee that. Speaking of it, should we throw? You are, Eden. I'm third? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the third. I'm, I'm number three. Me? All right. Fuck out. Yeah. Keep your queens away from me. Like, right. geez, let me. Yeah. Let me be in peace. Ladies, uh, relax. Should we throw a Damaris under the bus? Thinking of a. Uh, speaking of Rihanna. Yes. What? Should we? Should we tell the truth of her take? Mm-hmm. This might be the best record of the year. Oh my god! It's a good. It's a good record. It's not for me. For context, we're playing ASAP Rocky DMB. Featuring Rihanna in the video. 
uh, what other context do we need? Uh, We're playing it because it's a good song. This record is hard. This record is fire. I like that. I like that Rocky came back with this record. Sounds like Rocky. Feels like Rocky. Pause. It it, it feels like. Looks like Rocky. Looks like ASAP. It's the Rocky that 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 we loved when he first came out. It sounds like that, but in 2022. Yeah. yeah. I, I like I like I, and I like the fact that he you know we saw the images of this video how many ever many years ago when they were uptown in the Bronx shooting this. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad that we finally got the visuals for it. Uh, I didn't I didn't know that they were gonna put it. out. didn't. Is this something that we knew was happening today? No. It just like they just put it out. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a surprise to me that this this uh this 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 song and the uh, video drop. I don't know if the song available yet or just a video. I'm sure it's on DSP. Yeah, I'm not sure both release at the same time. Yeah. I will say, though, man, like, I know, again, the podcast community just wants us to shit on everything and, like, can't stand when we compliment people. Um, if he also directed this video, like, that's yeah. insane. This record is really, really fucking good, and the video is incredible. Yeah, the video is crazy. It's a very... Uh, we got to give Rocky some flowers if he also directed this shit too like that's different that's what he said that was his I believe cabinet I mean he's always been a fucking really creative dude yeah he's a he's a he's a he's a visionary he's a creative guy so I, I definitely am not surprised that he um he directed this it's uh it's like a collage of different image imagery from around the city and uptown and shit like that and um it just it's a real New York real New York video yo this hook sitting on a fire escape eating the day parties this summer I gotta go home and memorize this whole hook <laughs> I gotta scream this at the party Yeah you can't fuck this hook up Cause this is everything you wanna tell to a chick Roll my blunt You know Be my bitch Be my slut Be my cunt What a great word How did Rocky get clearance on that? Cause cunt is such a Aggressive word That it's hard for it to come across like ill it's usually yeah, said it's, in a very, very bad way. It's and a it very sounds, disrespectful word. But it sounds like, kind of beautiful here. It's almost like, wow. <laughs> like you like, actually nah. added some beauty and art to the word. Like I, I want you to be my cunt. Like it doesn't come off as aggressive. <laughs> it doesn't come off as disrespectful. It's like, you know, you're, I, what he's basically saying is just be mine. Yeah. Just be mine. I just, love you. I want you for myself. I want you to be everything to me. And I'll, in return, be just as supportive as a partner. Exactly. And slut you out. Nice. Well, I, think, I, I, think, I think it's a great bounce. I think that this this Rocky record is going to be one of those songs this summer where they're going to be shaking a lot of ass to it. Um, You know, if they could shake their ass to the future and the shit he's saying, they could definitely shake their ass to being called a cunt all summer. It's hard to catch one of these type of records. <laughs> I mean. It's hard to catch one of these type of records that sounds like this that both men and women will like equally. But That's actually, very difficult to do. When you have a, this type of sound, mm -hmm. you'll either typically just get the dudes or you'll have to go fully women on it. I'm saying this is something that internet, men no, and women not, they don't like together. It, some people on the internet say they don't like the record. Oh, well, they're bugging. I mean, you know, I think people have to be in certain environments to appreciate music. I mm -hmm. think this is, if you're listening to like Damaris said, she was listening to this with one AirPod in and she didn't like it. I think you have to give this the dual AirPod. I just you was playing it off your iPhone. I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. I like the record. Like I said, it, it sounds like Rocky. Uh, the vid the video is is super dope. Um, so yeah, this is a good way for him to come back. Strong way for him to come back. This is really strong. A strong uh, comeback record for Rocky. And I mean, it helps like just when you have Rihanna in the video. But yeah, Looking I mean that, that always helps. She but he great. but hey, it, he didn't just make. A, I have the ability to put Rihanna in my video type video. Like no, 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 no. They the, really the video itself could not have Rihanna and it'd be incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's a really good video. Uh, salute to Rocky, man. This is a strong comeback for him. Y'all think Stevie Wonder could see? I've been said that though. No. I just seen it. I came across a picture of him on Twitter holding a camera, like a digital camera, like to the eye hole, like he was taking because he was looking through the lens. Well, well, Stevie Wonder knows where his eyeball is. Um, right, and he okay. he's been playing off the fact that people think he can see forever. He's been doing that for years. Stevie Wonder has a, he has a sense of humor. He's blind. I can promise you that he cannot see. He's a How that's a sick it? rollout if you just lie about being blind. He's been blind since he was a child. Like he's blind. He can't see. Like literally blind. I just feel like Ray Charles' mannerisms were just a little bit different. Well, Ray Charles was different because he wasn't born blind. Like Ray Charles gradually became blind as a kid. 
uh, Stevie Wonder was I know, and, it gives, and he still gives off more blind vibes than Stevie do. <laughs> Ray Charles? Yeah, and he had the seen before. The battle of blind is <laughs> fucking... He had seen before and still gave off way more blind vibes than Stevie ever have. Stevie gives C vibes. Well, because... <laughs> that's interesting because, I mean, it, it would be... Be- <laughs> I think that it's because of the fact that he actually never could see. That he acts, so it's, it's a natural thing for him. It's like kind of like it's a natural thing for him to hold up a digital camera if he never saw a digital camera before. Put his hand on the lens and go like he's going to take a picture of somebody. I'm of pretty course. sure someone helped him. Of course, yeah. Stevie Wonder has been doing this for years. He knows that people think he can see that. Pe- he like he 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 hears all of this shit. Like he knows people think Wait, that he he, he was see. coming at a time where like being blind was kind of the thing. It was kind of ill for the singers to be blind. No, it was Stevie it's Wonder the same has been performing since he was like six years old. That was not way, back then in the fucking 50s. That was not the cool thing to do. Same way you have to join a gang now to become a rapper. Like, mm-hmm. it's just the thing. I think at that time, he, you know. I can promise you that was not the cool thing to do to act blind. That was, that was not the cool thing back then. Blind was popping at that time. No, it was not. Absolutely not. It was not. Stevie Wonder is blind. Uh, but I do love the fact that he has fun with that and he yeah. trolls himself and and does silly. I think one year he did something, uh, I think with a basketball or something like that. I don't know if he like shot, took a shot. Hey, no, something. he fucked around and got a triple double. Like he was <laughs> he was balling. <laughs> he was setting oh, screens. Yeah. <laughs> His court vision was crazy. Wow. <laughs> Y'all are sick, man. Hey, and BET, man, I don't know what y'all are doing, but y'all still have not given Stevie Stevie Wonder a Lifetime Achievement Award. I mean, I he only has vocals of Luther Vandross singing background for him. Like, I don't know how many other artists can say they have that. What are they waiting on? I, just, I don't, I have no idea. So many people have gotten Lifetime Achievement Awards before Stevie Wonder, and he's been achieving in his life way before half of these people were even born, so... I don't know what BET is doing, but uh, we need to honor Stevie Wonder while we still have him so that uh, he can have his flowers while he's here. Um, speaking of inducting, can we pull up the list of who just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I saw that Eminem did. Congrats to Eminem. Congrats well, to Eminem. Well fucking deserved. Um, but I know there was a, a list of, of a lot of people. Do, 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 do. Uh, it is uh, Dolly Parton, Pat Benatar, Duran Duran, Eminem. Uh, I'm going to butcher this. Eur- Eurythmics, Lionel Richie, and Carly Simon. Oh, shout out to Carly Simon. Lionel Richie yeah. wasn't in the Rock and Roll of Fame, were Guess not. <sighs> it's I, Stevie I thought, Wonder? I thought it's Lionel would be point, first ballot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just, like, just get him in there now. The fuck? <laughs> when uh, are they going to change that name? The Rock and Roll? Rock and Roll? Yeah. I mean, I get it, but... Should it be Recording Hall of Fame? Yeah. That doesn't sound like it hits that hard, though. Recording? Recording Hall of Fame. Rock well, they're recording artists. The music Hall of Fame. Music Hall of Fame sounds. I'm not mad well, at When me. you open it to music Hall of Fame, then you open it to musicians, like musicians, musicians. Well, uh, Lionel, Lionel are, Richie is not a musician. There are a lot of musicians in no, no, no. Hall I mean, of fame. like musician, musician, like like violinists, people who sit there and play the harp. Those are musicians, even if they don't sing. All right, artist Hall of Fame. Yeah. Mm. Musical artist Hall of Fame, recording artist. <laughs> None of that does it. I think this, I think this is that. why it's rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's rock, way and roll, yeah. rock and roll, <laughs> rock and roll narrows it down to just that genre of music. Well, I think that's how it started. No, yeah, yeah. It's, I started like that, but then I guess it's com- it's almost probably just symbolic. You know, when when things were rock and roll, it's just funny that that genre popping. is fucking dead. Like, oh yeah, they'll be. <laughs> Who are they gonna induct into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Billie Eilish. Play White Tees. Green Day? Are they already in there? Probably. Green Day should definitely Yo, be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Green Is Blink-182 before... in there? Like, once we get past that era, what rock and roll acts are going to be I'm... put in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Okay, so Green Day is definitely there. I don't. I wouldn't think that Blink-182 is in there. What? what? Blink-182 has to be, be in, in the there. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Why, though? Why do Blink-182? They, they, they just became eligible, actually. Oh, there you go. They'll in 2020. Be there. Wait, what do you mean, why? Why should Eminem be in there? Because he's what I, No, what I'm Eminem. saying Because his arms are ready. Because he's not afraid. His palms are sweaty. Knees weak. To take the stage. Arms are heavy. There's vomit on the sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous. <laughs> but on the surface, he looks calm and ready. He didn't at all, by the way. Just want to note in That's the movie, why. he did not look like that on the surface. That's he why looked that like he was going through it. It's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yo. Because I, his palms are sweaty. I did, when, I, when I said Blink 182... Um, I was offended by that, by the way. I'm not... 
I'm not downplaying them. What I'm saying is if Lionel Richie is just now going in, if Carly Simon is just now going in, Duran Duran is just now going in, what made you think Blink-182 just been in there? Because it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and mm-hmm. the White. And they're rock and roll. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I figured like all rock and roll actions just put them in right away. And then we all have to oh, fight and argue oh, for Jay-Z to be in there. Well, also there is, so you to become eligible for the induction, it has to be also 25 years after the release of their first recording. Jeez. That makes a lot of so sense. So that's probably also another good reason. Oh, I'm, I would just lie. My mixtape was in 97. Yeah. <laughs> well, then in that case, Lionel Richie should have been in there. Uh, yeah, for technically, sure. yeah. And Duran Duran. I'm was sure his first release yeah. was in the 80s. I'm almost positive. So, no, with fucking... Lionel Richie? Maybe the 70s. Late 70s, maybe Lionel might have put his first recording out. I mean, if you, you go with the group, too, yeah, it would definitely be the 70s. Yeah. Well, congrats to all of the... Uh, inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a... Because, yeah, if you count Commodore shit, <laughs> oh, it might have been yeah. the 40s. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> why are you, why you making Lionel that old, man? I, Lionel looks fucking great. <laughs> he, he does. does. Uh, so, yeah, congratulations to all the inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, congratulations to all of those who are now eligible. He climbed on the ceiling before anybody. He did. Uh, it was something else. All those exorcism, exorcism movies just stole from Lionel Richie, I feel like. They stole from him? Okay. Yeah. Why you say that? I'm rolling. I, I, did Rockin'. anyone walk on the walls or the ceiling before then? Before Lionel did it? I'm almost sure they did. Right. Maybe. I was wrong about Kim. I mean, so. they made it a hot line. He made it a hot song. I get it. I understand where you're going with it. <laughs> the uh, best man is getting a reboot as a series. Original cast. I'm Peacock. What's it about? I mm-hmm. Hey, Diggs just told us it was coming. Oh, if I was um, if I was Shorty, I would be pissed. <laughs> you killed me on Christmas. Now I can't do the reboot. Yo, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now but, she can't be with the the cast. She got to just be dead. Yeah, where does it go from? Where does that story go though? I don't know. Uh, that's I don't know. Like, is he gonna re? Is he gonna find a stepmom for his kids? Like. Peacock has ordered a 10 episode limited drama dramedy series. And you already know the best gonna, man, the final chapters. You already know he's going to be like a correspondent. Final chapter. He's going to be like Stephen Sideline Ed. reporter. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be a sideline. He's, he's not playing no more. Sideline reporter. Um, there's definitely going to be somebody in there that's like heavy on drugs now. They're going to put drug use. Somebody's going to come out as gay. Oh, for sure. Um, you got to. You have to. You have to come out as gay on, on these new shows. Is a. Uh, is she still dating the white dude? Is he in the original cast? He wasn't original cast. Well, I know he wasn't original, but he was. He was in the last ones. Yeah, it was... yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Was it Best Man Holiday? Yeah. Yeah. Which as but I'll admit it, guilty pleasure. I, that movie is really good. That's a Thank really you. good movie. I, Thank you. But it's like it's a really I, good movie. When I watch it alone, I feel insecure that I like it so much. Like I, if you watch it with a chick, that's fine. But like I'd be <laughs> in the crib alone watching Best Man Holiday. <laughs> Or maybe you're the like best man. My man, man just doesn't feel the same. No, like, you're your you're best man. You no, I, I. Do you cry when she dies? It's a thug tear. Yeah. A thug tear. Just one tear. That's it. <laughs> it's, yes, there's some onions in there. <laughs> and I'm always like, will he break the record for her? <laughs> Yo, you definitely one more, saying, one more yard. I, I see you. You definitely be in the house saying that to yourself. Definitely. Yeah, and you've seen it already. You I, know what happens and you still ask yourself. And, and I. Do the chore- uh, choreography for Can You Stay in the Ring with them. It's, it's almost blasphemy if you don't. You have to. <laughs> you have to get up and do You that. have to. Come on, are you kidding me? Every every man has to get up and do that. Um, uh, by the way, why didn't her- they beat that girl's ass during that? <laughs> That's why that movie wasn't realistic to me. Oh, my God. She threw her panties at, at her husband in front of her. And they all laughed and was like, Christmas. Like, fam, <laughs> I, you getting your ass. You throw. <laughs> in the same house. She needed her Because they, they was all standing in the same house, Yes. They? Can you imagine any girl you've dated, another girl that you've also fucked, was sitting next to her at the couch, and you were singing New Edition, and she threw her panties at you? Thanks. Well, you know what? That's just Let's so much upstairs. her personality. <laughs> it's that's so Let's much her personality that like it don't even phase her because like she's always been wild like that. So like they don't even pay her no attention. But when she called her a wild ass dick sucking whore in front of her kids, that was, sometimes no, kids that was that. a little extreme. <laughs> I was like, all right, man, come on. In front of the kids, y'all doing this? 
You can't do this in front of the kids, man. So we don't oh my God. But either I way, that, that I, I want to see that though. If they're using the original cast for those those ten episodes, I'm super excited. I do want to see that. I w- I'm interested to see what they do with that. Have you guys been watching This Is Us? You know that this is the last season. No, no I fell no. off of This Is Us. So left. I love it though. I love it. Um, they got peace, boring jazz. for a rest second, peace, but jazz, then it yeah. got it got good. It got boring for a second, then it got good. The first like three seasons are fucking amazing. Oh my god, that's TV. Yeah, that's but like the one la- of the, the greatest shows. The last season, it's the, they're in their last season right now, and I was up actually till five fifteen, uh, watching it this morning because I had I you know Twitter they go on there and they start spoiling shit for you, mm. um, but yeah, it was it had me crying a couple of thug tears. Question: I've never watched this, and I'm sure some people haven't either. So, what is this is us about? Uh, so this Which is TV you watching on. Yeah, you said what? Which TV did you watch it on? I watched it on my phone. I didn't okay. want to wake you. Yeah, because Aunt hit all my TV remotes, and I figured that out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he hide them? Because he was trying to embarrass them. But No, he was trying to embarrass me. <laughs> and when you're trying to embarrass someone, don't also have some embarrassing shit in your closet, too. Because I'm going to I'm going to tell it. Oof. Wait, and why is hiding the remotes embarrassing for you? Because what was embarrassing was on the TV of him. So he hid my remotes and I didn't know that. And I was looking this morning. I was like, where did, did someone steal my TV remotes? He hid them in the in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Oh, bathroom. so y'all was watching something on the TV. Oh, he really hid them in the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. Te- he texted me at like 1 p.m. Have you tried to watch TV today? I was like, <laughs> wait. And it well, all now clicked. that you say that, yeah. <laughs> I-, I have, but I can't. Oh, my God. But yeah, no, I, I-, I watched it on my <clears throat> on my phone. But yeah. it's it's So This Is Us um, is a show on NBC. Um, if you're in any way in tune with pop culture, you have to know it. You have to have at least shows. heard of This Is Us. Yeah, one of the greatest um, shows, easily. It, it is It is a drama series that follows a family of triplets and their parents um, and all of their lives. One of them were adopted. Throughout a span of 50 years, yes. Triplets, um, one of the triplets was adopted. It's, it's a beautiful story and you should definitely go watch. But it, it switches with the same actors. It switches between the past, the present, and the future and the way they tie everything together is, is mm. really beautiful. So it's one of the best seen. written shows ever. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, check um, it out. What season are they on now? The final season, I think it's either eight or six. Jesus. Yeah, I, f- I fell what happened off, to I seven? Fell off early. Huh? You just eight and six? You just... I know. You ever remember like a number, like you know that it's an even number, you just don't know what number it is? Okay. Like I know it's not seven. I think that's called uh, dyslexia. Is that what that's called? That's when you... The letters flip, are jumbled. Flip numbers and letters and shit. Yeah. Flip, Okay. Something not not for like money, like like they move around. I do that with uh yeah, nine, no, I, we get it. nine and six. Oh. When I'm uh, playing Uno, I don't know which one is a nine or a six. The, no, you're the, one of they those have fucking a cheaters that thinks if I throw this six down quick they enough, no it. one's gonna realize that there's oh, three nine. nines in there of too. Of course. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You gotta get that off. What do you mean? You kidding me? Oh, I pay attention to that shit. Yeah, you gotta get that I'll off. I be the moment somebody starts stack uh uh-uh, uh lay them down one by yeah, one. Yeah, do you guys stack in Uno? Uh, yeah, I'll stack. Is that not a thing? Stack. Some people do not like to stack. Uno Uno doesn't even know. Uno's rules, by the Trash way. Trash people. Yeah, you got to stack. Come on, stacking stack. numbers and, and black colors. Rules. Yeah. You know we got to take well, no, everything stack, and make You don't it stack own. colors. Like, you can't just throw all your reds down. Yeah. No, no, but no. Stack no. numbers, yeah, for sure. No, I, no, like draw cards. Somebody try that. That's just hilarious. Like, fam, you can't put all these <laughs> you just reds. Can't just put let all me go on the record down. right now here and say, in black people households, you can put a draw four on top of a draw two, and it could be a draw six, but you cannot put a draw two on top of a draw four. To avoid drawing the draw four and then make it a draw six. No. That's kind of whack. That's common knowledge. If, if someone else plays otherwise, then I can't be Because what? People Wait. like, well, what? Uno came out and said, I don't give a fuck what Uno I came said, out I said, Uno doesn't know their own rules. Yeah. Like, so you gonna put you could put a draw four on top of a draw two. Of course. Yeah. You put but a draw not four a two anything, on top of a but four. But you can't put a draw four. You can't put, you can't put a, draw a draw two on top of a draw, draw four. I guess like it does. I, I guess it does overpower. If I throw a draw four at you, you can't put a draw two and be like, hey, draw six. No, no, no. go to hell. I mean, I do know some people that play it. It's a draw card either way. Yeah, So they, they they let you do that. I do oh, know some I, people I that play like that. A draw is a draw. Like, but I get it. One is a cards, higher draw, draw. I get it. So, but if you yeah. got to pull cards, it's like, yeah, you pull two more then. Like, I know people that play like that. But it's, you know, it's subjective to where you from, city, state, you know. When, I get it. When you can't play, do you pick up one or do you pick until you can play? I pick I up pick one. Till I play. Only serial I, Killers pick so they can play. Oh, I do oh. Pick, pick to play. Nah. That pick, pick up, up one, one shit is cool. That's for amateurs. Yeah, you pick up one and if you don't, you can, if you don't, if it's nothing you could throw out, you could play it. It just goes to the next person. No, he's nah, saying, he's nah, saying you, you keep take that whole deck until you get some shit. Yeah. <laughs> until you get something, something you that you can play. Yeah. 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 Nah, I'm not jacking nah. that. That's, That's how you crazy. make the, That's how you make the game last. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. You play like that? Yeah, you make the game last like that. 
And then you got a whole book in your hand. Yeah, and tell them enjoy the projects when they sitting there plucking every card from the deck. <laughs> yeah, but now they got so many cards where you have to draw a fucking 20. Oh, I hate that new, the new. Oh, the ones we oh, write the rules in? Yeah, draw 70. Oh, fam, I. Yo, right. my little sister gonna be wild and they'll say some shit like take five shots or draw 20 cards. It's like, I don't want to do either. I quit. Oh, Lo, Lo has his own personalized Uno deck where oh, it's boy. like, call your ex-girlfriend. Like, he went crazy with it. <laughs> He but Shout out to call King. your ex girl. Fam, we're not doing that. No, I, I don't even call my ex girl. I don't you, even have a number. Her. <laughs> like, I don't even have a fucking number. Uh, but that whole like swap hands thing now, like I can't. Get oh, that. I hate that, that, that shit. That shit is yes. corny, oh my god, I hate that. Because I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> like if I'm about to win, you and have then two you cards, have the whole deck, and then you're like, oh, swap. Switch. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Are you guys fans of Jenga? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Jenga's cool for cool. like something to do when you got the drunk bitches at your crib. I, really I feel like Jenga I would really not want to play though. Jenga with drunk bitches. It doesn't go very far. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have steady hands for that shit. I take Jenga. Like, I I, I take risk on Jenga. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We got to have like a, a game night. Yeah, but fun. you got to show up. I'll show up to game night. Wow. What do you Damn. mean? I'll show up to a game night. It was one birthday, Rory. It's one birthday. I'm joking. Who's going to be on my taboo team? Because I take that shit seriously. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll join I'm you. taboo king, first and foremost. So then she'll be taboo uh First king, and queen. foremost. We'll I'm taboo king. king. Taboo. I'm, I'm king taboo. All right. What's 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 your average points? What do, you, what, what do you guarantee no matter what each turn that you do? At least eight. You're good for eight? At least eight. Eight. Because eight, I know eight how to hits. explain things without really saying eight, shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that can also, it depends who you're talking to. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why you got to pick a very, like you be amazing, you have a very you, good team. Because it's like, all right, I'm making this as simple as possible and y'all yeah. are just stupid. So, yeah, you're right about that. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm think i a seven plus. I'm good for a seven. Okay. I'm not too bad at it. I just try to, when we're picking teams, pick people that I know I have like inside. Common sense. Yeah. You just need, if you got one person with common sense, you're good. Because you really every, only need two people for taboo. You yeah. need one. Because if you have one person in, on your team that's like common sense, it's like, all right, fam, we going to run it up. Bro, mm. Some people are really bad guessers. Me and guessers, you, we going to run it up. Some people are really, really bad guessers. I yeah, definitely that's what I'm saying. You got to have somebody with common sense. I form resentment towards some partners in my past because of taboo. <laughs> Definitely. I almost like when you do like the couples, they're like, yo, like, come on, like, what? Because you realize you're making us look bad. You like, you a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yo. Like, you got to just say, like, I'm with a dumbass nigga. Word like, this nigga's me. stupid. Like, Word to me. Like, yo, I'm, both... this is my girl. Like, yo, you stupid. Like, and we're both competitive too. We'd be arguing and fighting. And my little sister be like, I don't want to play with y'all. And anymore. you know, women are terrible at explaining things. So, <laughs> see, I wasn't gonna say. So, it. I wasn't gonna. And you know they get it. frustrated when you can't read their mind, so they'll be sitting there with taboo, giving you the worst fucking hints ever, and then they start getting frustrated, mad at you. I'm like, babe, you're not saying anything. I just want to <laughs> let you know you haven't said a word yet, <laughs> and now you're fucking have steam coming out of your ears because in your head it makes sense. And it's always fun playing with the couple that you know is kind of going through something. Oh yeah, damn. And like when they don't get it. It's like, oh, but you knew what that bitch was where she was going to be at the other night. You're like, wow. Like, what that got to do with we We in the crib playing taboo. Like, why y'all bringing y'all shit in here? Like, oh, you didn't get that hint, but yeah. you got the hint that that bitch was going to be at the club. Though. And I'm petty, too. I'll be like, trying to get up, like, yo, the color, the color, shorty, who picture you like 15 oh, times? Nah, the color, see. her favorite color. She always wearing that color. That see, wow. see, see. You can't and then that. he come then, out and say, oh, it's purple. And now I got to fight you because oh, you know Oh, because now you remember the color. Now it's a whole nother fight. You see the games women play? Or what if what if he replied with, well, she changes it up all the time, unlike you. Ooh. See, he likes the same ass fucking hairstyle like, every he, day. Like, he like to not sleep at night. I get it. I want peace. Love I want to be able to sleep. Rory don't like to sleep. I'm not playing We'd those never games. Never say that. Me. Never. Uh, in other I'm news, my relationships. Nipsey Hussle's uh, suspected killer, Eric Holder, gets a new trial date. Uh, Nipsey Hussle was gunned down in March 2019, and three years later, his, his suspected killer has yet to go to trial. But according to the Los Angeles criminal court calendar, Eric Holder will stand before a judge and jury on June 2nd. A readiness hearing, often referred to as a pretrial conference or settlement conference, a court proceeding where the defense counsel and prosecutor discuss the facts of a criminal case and either agree to resolve the case or not, is scheduled for May 19th. As noted on the website, he will appear at the Clara Shortridge Fultz Criminal Justice Center in Los Angeles, California. Deputy Public Defender Aaron Jansen says Holder was experiencing a substantial mental health issue following the death of his mother and was off his medication the day of the shooting. You already see where they're trying to spin this mm -hmm. and how they're trying to uh, angle this whole uh, unfortunate, tragic situation that occurred uh, three years ago. But um, either way, Eric Holder will be 
going to trial in a couple of months. I feel like Chris Darden just kind of disappeared. Yeah. So like then him just randomly popping up and taking that high profile case was just fucking weird. Well, because he lost that OJ trial, that that case. He lost that. So um he looked at this as a way to kind of get his name maybe I don't know, back into the uh the pool of uh high profile lawyers. I don't They're know. Very odd. But, but that was that was just weird. Yeah, in 2020 actually he stepped down uh from that. He actually had a Facebook post announcing his withdrawal. Yeah. Um from that. I do remember reading that. Uh Jack Harlow was sad about the uh the Drake song leak? Oh, no, Drake Dr- Drake was sad about the uh, song leaking with him and Jack Harlow. I don't know why. Who leaked it? Ma. I, no, I, I definitely did not leak it. Uh, Drake said, it hurt my feelings. Uh, I'm really tight about leaks. I don't bounce my music, so I haven't had leaks in a long time. I don't ride to my music while I'm working on an album. The only time we get to experience it is in the studio. Uh, Drake was sad, too. Uh, he kind of, you know, nudged me like, hey, don't trip. This was meant to happen. I think his experience, he let me know, like, you think this is going to affect your life? It's fine. He added, I felt the energy shift after hanging out with Drake for sure. Or when you do an interview, they're going to bring it up. So obviously, Jack was sad. I don't think he was because he ended up putting another verse. So wait, Drake was saying he doesn't bounce music and hasn't had any leaks? No, Jack was saying Jack that. Was saying and then, I was going to say. Cause... And then Drake was, uh, Drake was like, you know. Damn, they're all certified lover boy leaked mm-hmm. yeah. two years prior <laughs> yeah i mean for artists like drake a leak doesn't matter um leaks can't affect certain artists Depends on the track. it can mentally yeah, it, it so could fuck with your process saying that shit mid. yeah but i mean is it gonna affect me okay that but i mean it's not gonna affect the sales it's not gonna affect the, no not uh, that but i feel like especially with that certified level that's why i actually felt for drake because so many of those records leaked mm-hmm and they were incomplete. And then I heard the complete version on Certified Lover Boy. And I know that fucked with him. Like, you're getting half of a, a record that I'm still working on. And now it's to the world. Yeah, it's going to fuck up my process. Well, yeah, maybe the recording and writing process. But, you know, ultimately the song comes out anyway. People stream it. People listen to yeah, it. If the sure. album comes out, I don't think it affects artists like Drake. I could just see the mentality of like, I can see it. it's it's out. Like, why even work on this anymore? Because they have the fucking leaked version. It's not done. Like... I Damn, can see Jack that. being upset about that because he's a newer artist. Um, and this is like, you know, his first, I think, Drake feature. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he wanted this oh, to I, be like a surprise, you know, play that I card. Been livid if yeah, I was Jack, yeah. I understand, <laughs> I understand Jack Harlow being uh I would have been super upset. Upset at that. But um good record. Um, and I'm hearing uh Jack added more more bars to that. Mm. Um I'm glad he did because his his felt in comparison to Drake's verse, super short. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it's gonna still be not up to par. I mean, well, I don't think Jake can rap. Jack can rap better than Drake, no. Right. But I, he does need to put some more. Jack Hollow can rap, right? But um, I, that verse was in the league. That his verse was uh was way too short though. Oh, for sure. Um, where where are we at with time? Uh, we're at a good time. We we could head out if you guys would like. Y'all didn't see Benzino in the car rapping to his new his new shit. He has another record. A new new record? No, nobody saw Benzino on the car rapping to his new shit. No, no, no. We can't. We can't. We got. Well, we, let's, bro, y'all have to see let's this. watch it first. Y'all have to see this. <laughs> is it the same song that I played for Benzino versus the world? Is it that no. song though? He called this new shit Ben the Block or some shit. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, nah. You are gonna get these bars? Don't trip. Do not trip. You gonna get all these bars? The Zeno bars. Hey yo. The Zeno bars is funny. Where's Zeno at? Hold on, let me find Zeno for y'all niggas that's hating. Oh, and if he put like a Xanax bar, but put Zeno, but instead of the Z, he used the X because it makes the same. The marriage. Why am I not on somebody's team? Like... No, that's why. That's exactly. <laughs> why. Do you think? Do you think he could get a koi feature? That might take him to the top. No, this is what they was all saying. It was like, yo, fam, just let your daughter you, do the rapping. Did you make that pun on purpose? Huh? Did you make that pun on purpose? Don't mind me. Oh, that Just was good. Everything. That was great. It gets lonely at the top. Where is Zeno at? Hey, where are you I'll searching? <laughs> on IG, where the video was at? Definitely just searched on Bing and didn't even come up. Nah, they didn't take Zeno down. <gasps> Never saw it, Maul. Nah, y'all yeah. tripping. Hold he on. In the he is tight about Eminem being nah, in the Rock nah, and Roll nah, Hall of Fame. find this right here, right now. Y'all got Zeno twisted. Please stop calling him that. That's it. The Benz. Now y'all, hating on, now y'all hating on his name. See? 
Wait, where's this fucking video at? I can't believe y'all didn't see this shit. Oh, hold on. I thought I saved it. Because I was like, yo, this nigga looks so awkward in this shit. Like, he think he look cool. He took his glasses off. Oh, here it go. Okay, I'm rolling. It's that new Benzino. Hey. Mm. Hey, when that happens. <laughs> he saw he about to die. Why? You could leave the block, bro. <laughs> oh, he took the glasses off. What? <laughs> hey, I'm on that island with somebody, bitch. Period. Ooh, that's about to be my next picture caption. You uh, I think that shit's kind of hard. <laughs> you know, I never sit here and... Uh... All right, look, Benzino is too old for this shit. Well, my favorite part was the beginning when he was trying to act all nonchalant, like... This right, you know, you don't even know what's about to come on. You can't, <laughs> you can't be rapping like this at this age with a Bluetooth in your ear. <laughs> but he did this when he was rapping. No, he wanted, he was showing the. I, I saw it. He was in he, guns. I, he had a hundred of them. I don't like to put age, you know, caps on rap and the genre and all of that. I hate doing that because no other genre does that. But I think rap has a has an age limit i do i just especially if you're like still trying to be like if you're aging well and accepting your aging and talking about different things like benzino is too old to still be talking about spinning the block showing up with 100 k's and benzino is you know he if you know his history you know he's listen he's probably not lying you know what i mean I, I I'm, agree. Not, I'm not doubting I that i don't think people really but know just, that about him but yeah you have a daughter that's in music now who has an album out that's rapping that's you know doing things and she would probably smoke that he should that should be the reference. Well, that's <laughs> what ass. I'm saying. It's just he shouldn't be rapping that. He shouldn't be rapping and performing that in the car while his homeboy is, is driving. It's just not you pass that. That window is gone, Benzino. You're you're a, an elder statesman in the culture. You should be elder doing statesman. things. Yeah, like you're an older guy. Benzino's how old? Uh at, an, at least like 50. 48, at least, maybe. Oh, I think he's at 50 by now. Let's 51? See. He is 56. Benzino's 56? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. All right, scratch everything I just said, Ed, and you can delete all of that. Mizzino, you too old for this shit. <laughs> you 56 years old. You should not be rapping about spinning the block with 100 Ks. And listen, I know your I know your history. I know you listen. I I'm not saying it was never a thing. It's you're 56 now. You should just be at a different place and a pace of your life. And I wasn't just... mad at the 100 Ks he was coming with. I was more upset that a 56 year old be prioritizing their time. He should be more on the block on... for a hundred days straight. <laughs> At fifty six, you should be focused on your four hundred one k, not a hundred k's. Yeah, mm. you should be focused on your four hundred one k. Bar, you should uh be worried about you know helping uh the 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 younger men achieve their goals and their dreams. And Go I just don't think it's fiscally responsible that I think it's great you have a hundred k in the safe, but then you brought a hundred k to the club after you just caught a body. Shot somebody. So you should probably, you should probably lay low. Yeah. Probably lay low for a while. It's what I'm saying. Uh, it's just, it's just not. Just think maybe you should hold on to that other hundred k for legal fees for for the body that was just caught. Right, right. And if you only have two hundred k, and I don't think I'm sure Benzino has more than that, but in the song, he technically his net worth is two hundred k. I wouldn't take half of my net worth to the club after yeah. a body. Yeah, no. You, he's just too old for that type of content. I think. You shouldn't be in the car with a jersey on, showing your biceps with a Bluetooth on, rapping about spinning the block with 100 Ks, and you just caught a body or caught a case, and now you're in the club 
ordering the case. And it's funny that the Bluetooth also wasn't connected because he it was playing, playing through the phone. So I mean, through the it's through just. The and also, I just think it's so fucking humiliating because you weren't trying to do all this rapping shit before your daughter started getting big. It's giving parental jealousy. That's what it's giving. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on! Mm. I'm not gonna let you. He's recently I'm been rapping. Benzino has recently been rapping. I am not going to let you. 56 years old is too old to be talking like that, though. I'm going to be honest. And I hate putting ageism on hip-hop, but come on, dog. At 56, you should be... You're not about to disrespect Benzino. How old? He's been doing this. This is Yeah, this is years old, Rory. This is when he was this probably 36. <laughs> like, exactly. He was 36. See? You already bopping. Yeah. But he's only doing all of this right now because of Koi. And we all know it. And it's very weird to watch. And that was a... Uh, in uh, What was it? Streetball? What was the video game? Streetball. That was that was the one. NBA Street. They, they ain't let you not listen to that song when... Yeah, but at 56... Ball. Come on, man. You're supposed to be rapping about, you know, real you estate... Chris Pair of jeans, nigga, button up. Not even that. You're supposed to be rapping about real estate portfolios. <laughs> You know, getting your prostate checked. Getting these tons. I, yeah. I, I agree. When's the last time either of you got your prostate checked? Outside of Rory, where it's, it's, it's done fairly often. Ma, when did you get like your prostate choice? checked? Like my choice? I've never. I'm, I have one scheduled for this year. You do? Yeah. You want to come with you? No. Could we? I'd like as a supportive friend. You want there's this content? You want to watch the doctor check my prostate? We just want to be supportive. Oh. Uh, Text me in the group chat. I'll let y'all know how, every, how everything's going. In the group chat. <laughs> Support me through text. Doing great. I don't want anybody in the fucking hospital with me while I'm getting my prostate. Well, there needs man. to be a witness. Oh, so you doing the bending? So, uh, yes, no, it's I a, am it's the a patient. Joke. It's, oh, <laughs> in case maybe a nurse isn't available because she's doing other thing, I could be the witness. Yeah, there needs to be a witness there. You can't first get a prostate. All, if you think I'm going yourself. to any hospital where a nurse isn't available and letting them still like check my prostate? It's not happening. Sometimes I get busy. It's COVID. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so I have one scheduled for uh, this year. Get my prostate examined. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's what Benzino should be encouraging men to do. Take care of your health. Uh, at 56, you shouldn't be bending the block. Men, are, if you are over 35, please go get your prostate checked. Please, get, please get your prostate checked. Look at how algorithms work. Literally now, just now. Look at the video that just pops up immediately when I open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zeno. Just Zeno, chilling. Bend the block. Bend the block. <laughs> Jesus fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that banner in my phone. Uh, the block. Listen, man. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I don't wait. Know I'm crying that his man's was not bopping his head, and then when he moved, oh no, the his camera, man started bopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started bopping. He stopped bopping his head after. Yeah, you just like all right. Let me support my guy. Like he he playing this bullshit in my car. I don't want to hear this shit. But uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know, man. I hate putting the cap on uh the age uh, as far as hip hop goes and rappers and all that. But I, 56 is a little too old to be talking like that. That's all I'm saying. He's going to be mad when he wants to tweet us in response to this and realize that he has us all blocked already. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely got me blocked, for oh, sure. We talked about that. Uh, shout out to West Side Boogie. Yo, Boogie shit on colors is incredible. Shout out to West Side Boogie. Uh, his colors uh, performance was super dope. Uh, I, love the, I love what Boogie's doing with all his visual stuff now. Switch three different out, uh, outfits with colors. Like, that shit was genius to me. Yeah. Love what y'all doing. Shout out to LVRN. Um, yeah, man. Anything else? I I think I'm not gonna say where I'm gonna go this weekend. Yeah, nah. But I I think uh, you'll be moving around this weekend. Yeah, I think you'll be out there in, in the streets. I will be. Um, yeah, man. I'll Catch just be Rory in a hood near you. No, I won't. I won't be in the hood at all. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy uh, Mother's Day, guys. We love you all. We appreciate the 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 mothers that do mother things that take care of their mother responsibilities. Not the mothers that have children and leave them at grandma's house all the time so they could throw ass in uh in the club. We don't we don't we don't appreciate those mothers. Hot take, y'all can say I'm protecting women, but if I push a baby out of my vagina, you gonna wish me happy mother's day. I don't care if I never see it again. Nah. That's no. not you okay. got me twisted. Yeah, that's not a that's not a you don't get a happy mother's day. You got day. mommy issues too. Yeah. Yep. We don't wish those we don't wish those mothers happy mother's day. We gotta go to uh, LA. Yeah we gotta go to LA to a LA Sparks. Just lo love the LA Sparks. Uh great team. Hope they get it done this year. <laughs> Oh, you was talking about done. basketball. Uh, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Uh, seriously, oh, happy Mother's Day to all the loving, caring mothers out there. Y'all are our superheroes. We love y'all. We can't thank y'all enough. Uh, literally risk your lives to bring life into the world. Uh, so we appreciate you. We love you. We support you every day, not just on Mother's Day, but today we just do it a little louder, a little prouder on Mother's yeah, Day. Man. Um, so, yeah, 
I'll see my mom uh this weekend. Um, and that'll be probably about it, man. And um, you know, try to get my energy back and get my thoughts back together for next week. Same Rough as... week for me, but uh, you know, I'm pushing through, pushing through. Yeah, man. Yeah. So uh Not yeah, man, long. we love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Subscribe to our Patreon, subscribe to our YouTube. Uh this has been another episode of This Is Rory and Maul. Well, no, excuse me, the new Rory and Maul. I'm sorry. Uh I am all, that's Rory. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. We love y'all. I'm ginger. Thank y'all. Peace. No!